Hello. Um, oh shit, I closed my chat again. Uh, so today, like like I said yesterday, every other day is uh, going to do a bit on the V-Sky. I don't think anybody's streaming right now, so I don't know if anybody's going to be on right away. However, oop, I actually forgot. Update information, there we go. Um, if you're wondering who's on, uh, exclamark v sky as always, uh, in Twitch. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it, I guess. Turn on some music. And why is my avatar not there? Oh, there he is. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Readjust everything. Alrighty. Let me just turn on the music. Just simple background music so that we can have some while we play. Test. Alright. Where is my, my graph? There it is. Alrighty. First off, let's make it daytime. And then I kind of want to, uh, well, let's just see, hopefully. I kind of want to start planning out a little bit more of this area. If I make this... Let's make a shovel. So what I'm thinking is up here I want all like the like the over over city stuff and then down down there I'm going to be making a few like black market shops But for that we're going to need some As low as possible, so maybe here ish. Oh, hey, Demi, how's it going? Just taking it easy this morning. Haven't been sleeping well the past couple days. And hello, Eric. 
Uh, quick question while I have you here, Eric. Um, were you upset at me that I jumped ship last night? Uh, on your on your stream. Oh, okay. I for some reason when I said I was heading off for the night, you seemed upset for some reason. I don't know. Ground here, okay. Anyways, how are you doing today, Eric? Oh. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm glad you could stop by in the very least. Yeah, this is this is the server, and unfortunately, no, Eric, you you hate uh, you hate the premise of them, but it's with a bunch of other VTubing friends. If you do exclamation V Sky, uh, it'll tell you all of them that's on the server.
fuck is he making over there? Uh, this is the uh, Faithful X64 pack. So basically it takes all the, the same textures and just transforms into the 64x64 64 64 images. Instead of, I think it's like 8x8. Eight eight. Makes things look a lot better in my opinion. Also, uh, Kiri, how was your stream? get a desk or something to put on on my side because right now I'm, I'm playing on a uh, on like a curved a surface with my armchair but uh, like every time I click it like kind of like shifts oh well and no worries by the way um, felt bad for going on mic with my partner still in bed oh I didn't unfortunately didn't see that oh well I'm sure they I'm sure he understands this one from? Ah, Miles Edgeworth. So you guys like my airship? Currently uh, still under construction right now, but uh, I think it's t I just need a lot of lime dye, but nobody's found any cactuses yet, so. Uh, will you be around tonight? A bunch of them playing a stone star together should be plenty of... Uh, potentially. This is a skyboat. I, I made it myself without any schematics. Right now, I'm just trying to um, try trying to get a, a setup for a village so I can at least get like a wandering trader coming.
It is 7 to 20. Also, uh, I forgot to say, uh, hi Ouija board and hi humans. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, did not mean to place it there, fuck. Oh boy. By the way, if anybody's wondering, these uh, blogs are where, where the uh, lamp posts are going to go. I just got to add. Yeah, so that's going to be like the under ridge kind of uh, uh, shops and whatnot. I oh, made, made way too many stairs. I'm sure they'll come in use eventually.
Actually, I can just use dark, dark oak slabs for a lot of these. Like that. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. All right, time to go fill up more of that pond. And I'm probably going to need one or two more shovels to get rid of all of this upper layer here. Oh, and I gotta get rid of these trees. God, there's more trees than I thought. Coastal, po Coastal City Pokemon Sword and Shield. Turf Field, damn it. Wrong side of the, the province. Actually, you know what? It bothers me that I hasn't I haven't started that yet. So you know what? I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add rings to this this uh, monstrosity. <laughs> I have stone. I'll use dirt for now.
should have gotten a shovel. Does look pretty good with that at least. That's I'm happy with that. Alrighty. Shovel, shovel. Is this a... Boy, I don't remember Twilight Princess being so piss poor quality. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright. I think that actually looks quite... Didn't realize I was falling there. Oh. Well, it's good to know I still have a heartbeat. Yeah, that definitely looks good with the gray, I think. I was initially going to use iron, but I don't think iron would be a very uh, useful thing to use. <laughs> so after after the blimp is all finished, I'm thinking that I'm going to add a giant propeller onto the back here. Now that I have more dirt, though, I should probably go and... Yeah, I'll probably fill in more of that. How's the music levels, by the way? Are they okay? Alright. Awesome, thank you. Uh, let's see. Down here is all good for planning. I'm happy with that. Give that, that, that. Oh. Time to go on a shovel spree. So what's on everybody's mind today? Got any fun plans for the day? I pick up for ooh, what's your gardening today? Morning glows are going nuts, but they want to be outside already. But it's, yeah, it's it's been ridiculous nowadays. It's. So many people want to go and enjoy the warmth, even plants now. <laughs> Oops.
God, this makes me want to stream Sonic Unleashed. That was such a good game. God. I don't know if I can... I've, I haven't been able to get, like, the newer... Con anything past, like, PS2 and, and GameCube and all that, I've never got an emulator to work, and I don't know what's going wrong. Well, I guess considering that I only tried on my laptop, my laptop's graphics card was piss poor. I should also probably pick up a list of, like, recommendations people want me to stream. I should add that to the Discord. Keeping in mind, I don't have a, a capture card yet, and I don't know when I'll be able to afford one. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Ouija board. And also, as always, I appreciate lurks. Also, I've made a decision for those still sticking around on which uh, which emote I'm going to unlock next. Uh, one when I have enough subs. I'm not saying you should sub, by the way. Um, I think I'm going to unlock the the heart eyes emote next. Show love whenever we go raiding or something. Is there anybody here that's not seen the uh, the three emotes that I that I uh, commissioned? Oh, okay. Let me let me pull it up here. Add image. Where's image? There it is. File, Twitch. Oh, fuck that large. All right. Anyways, here's the uh, the three emotes that I've commissioned. Crystal Rubrics, very awesome artist, by the way. Uh, uh, she's made these three emotes for me, and I. Greatly appreciate them, and I'm, I'm always gonna I'm always gonna go back to them if I ever get more than three slots. But that's that's a far future thing. But I figured three is a good standard to have right now. Uh, these are only gonna be tier one subs because as of right now, I don't know if or why people would tier three sub. Um, but when, I'll I'll cross that bridge basically when I come to it. Um, yeah, so the one on the far right is the one I'm going to be unlocking next. The one on the far left is your... The, uh, the final laugh. Oh, well. I just think it's fun. Sometimes I wish I ha either had a drawing tablet or it was as good as an artist as some people on the internet. <laughs> I know, I know it's all due to practice, but I'm always, always, always pen and paper. I have a drawing pen, just no drawing tablet. Would I like to do art on stream one day? Probably. 
one day. But that's a, again, as always, a far future thing when I can afford it. Fuck Earthbound music weirds me out. Alright. That's a lot of dirt. I should have a chest for dirt. two shovels. Alright, thanks Kiri, have, and hope your uh, errands go well. Eventually, I should go and get more resources. Iron, I mean. something about flute music that just really adds to an RPG.
Alrighty. This is a nice large area for a city. I can probably fit like eight houses or something here. I think you might want it like luxurious looking as well. cleanest job but at least it looks good I need another pickaxe.
All right. Alrighty. So I'm going to need a ton of logs.
the bridge go here? Looks like it. Oh, there's a pig. fix up here that way I have a bit of landscape for like an edge farm or something or a bunch of stalls gonna go to sleep and then I think I'm gonna go get a bunch of oak actually now you know what Something I do gotta do is I gotta get a bunch of dark oak as well. Actually, you know what? I do want daytime for this.
is this from? Dark Souls, okay. Hey Shira, how's it going? If only, if only Dark Souls is actually this energetic. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Are you streaming today? Are you taking a day off? Expand a bridge over there. Mm. Nah. Okay, what the fuck? No. Oh, hydrate. Oh no! Uh, how long have I been streaming for? An hour and 14? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, an hour and 12, hour and 12. Uh, I will hydrate. Uh, let me finish this off and then I'll go uh, run a BRB and a quick ad so I can uh, go up and grab a drink. server.
All right. Looks like I got the roads mostly planned out. Houses are going to be like in these plots. And then while I have the holes, I might as well. that look decent okay all right uh, let me just run back to safety can I hide down here yep all right uh, I'm gonna just put it on BRB for now. Uh, go refill my my drink, my water. Uh, run an ad, and I will be back hopefully really quickly. I also probably should take a quick bio break. So uh, talk amongst yourselves, uh, enjoy each other's company, and uh, yeah.
Alright, I'm back. And to if you if you're still around, uh where where's where's my bottle? Ah There you go. I made that a little bit too strong. My god. Alrighty. Sun going up or down? Oh, okay. All right, I need oak. Lots of oak. Okay then. Never liked that, right?
I know this is supposed to be for a horror map, but I actually really, really like this map on uh, Sonic Adventure 2. I hate those large trees so much.
try to let him kill me, I think. Thank you. Why oh, didn't despawn? Hey. Oh shit, I forgot to close the... I definitely gotta go mining for more.
Kid and Sapphire was such a good game.
Oh, crap. Oh, that's not a fucking good place to be. I'm trying to think of where a barn would go. Do I attempt this? Ow. Yay! Thank you. Well, that was useful. Oh no, oh, oh shit, uh, oh god, oh no. Uh, also, thank you for the, the squidge. Oh, that was scary. The schematic space.
planning on trying to stream today. Oh, nice. What you gonna stream? I hope your stream goes well. The time you're thinking of streaming. Yeah, I know, I know. Down here at least. Last time I tried to speak, my mic was mumbling, and I don't know when it's gonna happen. Okay, well, hopefully your mic starts working this time. Properly, I mean. I think it's a problem with Streamlabs or Twitch though because I played disabled mobile. Okay. Um no if uh what oh what are you using? Like for for the recording program are you using Streamlabs OBS or just OBS? Or something else? people have issues with Streamlabs OBS nowadays, I would just use straight vanilla OBS. That way, A, it's a little bit less taxing on your computer, but B, you also have a couple other benefits. Um, I, and I believe OBS just has uh, not not as good mic controls, but it's less to, to futz around with, I guess. It doesn't make sense.
Now I gotta spend it. I'm. I mean, you don't have to switch it. I know some people still use Streamlabs OBS. I'm just giving you what advice from what I've used. So it could be different for everybody. Fortnite stuff. So I see you plan on doing a Nuzlocke. Oh, I have, I have been playing, uh, I have been doing Nuzlocke. Uh, Pokemon XD. Some, several of my past streams have been. I'm sorry, but I just like the best availability that I have. I have been considering doing some later streams, but sometimes my streams go long and I don't want waking up anybody in my house.
Oh no, that that no salt, that that death was intentional. Died four times to stream. Not really. Sometimes there's peace in death. That. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Yeah. Whatever. Surprised nobody's on V Sky. What's us? Oh, 
Shiro's on. Is he streaming yet? God damn it. Kind of sus final. God kind damn it. Always with the sus. Mm. How are you today? Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just, um. Just done some things and stuff, some things, you know? Yep. Oh, god damn it. How so how's you been? I'm alright. Just been chilling all morning. I see you've done some uh, some big upgrades. Uh, kinda. I've just been working on pathways, making, getting ready for making a town. Hmm. He is kinda sus, but you are really sus, according to Unicorns. <laughs> You're kinda sus, I'm really sus. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, so I've just been... Cheese. <laughs> I, I've just I've just been working away all morning trying to get like all the landscape and pathways all set up. Nice. You uh, you haven't happened to find a name tag anywhere, perhaps. I have not terms? yet. No. Uh. Did you ever check out the locations I sent you on on Discord? Yes, I did. I, I've already found one of them. Uh, I found one fortress you sent. Okay. There is a fortress there. Alright. Uh, it's super small and didn't have... It had like three chests with nothing in it of value. And the bastions I haven't been able to get to yet. Yeah, I expect bastions to mostly be like... Uh... Man words are hard for me today. Like mostly gold stuff and whatnot. Maybe some soul speed mm. stuff. Yeah, probably. Unicorns thinks your uh, your skin looks kind of evil. I mean, it's directly reflective off of mine, but I may have made the skin a bit too dark. Mm. I think mine is a bit brighter than yours. Yeah, definitely got to raise the brightness a tad. Mm. Nothing I can't do in Photoshop. Exactly. <sighs> I have figured out two ways to get uh, a name tag for similar effects to a name tag. Yeah. But they are both super rare. I mean, you could also buy one from a librarian. I think it's a librarian. Yeah, yeah but I'm gonna have to level them up. Yeah. That would take a lot of time. 
Yeah, it's, that's why I always go for Fletcher first. That way mm -hmm. you can just sell sticks. Yeah. Um, but basically, I, I, I was looking into fishing. Mm -hmm. It's a 0 0.8 chance to get a, uh, a name tag. Okay. And the other way is that if you drop the card pumpkin on the floor, there's a 1% chance that a zombie will pick it up. Huh. And uh, don't you zombie. need mob griefing on for that? No. Nope. Oh. It's only picking up an item, not uh, picking, uh, like destroying potatoes. Okay. Like the villagers are. <clears throat> so, uh... That's, that's kind of why we don't have endless iron yet. <laughs> <laughs> Is fire building the Skylanders airship or the Mario one? Neither. Building my own. <laughs> there you go. My original OG design. Made it myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm starting on building my town just because I want a watering trader for cactus. Then I can finish my base. Kind mm. of Yeah, fire kind of Um, I was planning on building a creeper farm. Yeah, that that I've noticed. I'm not sure if it's just this server or a recent update because there's creepers all over the damn place. Mm. Uh, I think it's it has to do something a bit with the server that they are not able to generate in caves and they just have to spawn on the world. Possibly. I think that's why there's so goddamn many of them. <laughs> did I ever get around to talking with Avery? No, I did not. I did not. Uh, I haven't seen him online. He might drop by in the stream though, so maybe I can. I know he him. was playing Code Vein last late last night, so he might be asleep or something. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched his VOD. I, I, I... Oh no, I, I was there, I think, for a bit. I passed out. You okay? Yep, I just... I'm just big dumb. Same though. <laughs> that kind of vibe tonight, just a big dumb. <laughs> I wanted to make uh, trapdoors instead I made like 8 stacks of slabs. <laughs> uh, I know that feeling. You're streaming a little bit later you than usual. You alright? Pardon? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, better. Uh, uh, yeah, kinda. I, uh, 
like, this is a good time for me to stream as well. It's just that, um, usually I stream during, uh, usually I stream during, like, the afternoon, instead yeah. of the evening, but it still works fine for me, right? Yeah. I've been considering doing a, a, a little bit later, uh, like, weekend streams or something. Mm. But I, I also don't want to wake up anybody in my household. Yeah. I... Uh, I can't remember that, Unicorns. Remember what? He's telling me I've been, been punning unintentionally. I haven't been hearing it. Yeah, then again, no. I also could have been, like, become numb to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about something about Avery stream last night. No. I don't know. I think I was supposed to talk to him about the SCP board game. But, um... Oh, I think I stopped and briefly and heard Unicorns talking about that. Hmm. As we were talking about SCP-999 not having eyes. Okay. Apparently I've done something bad. And Weasel told you mate to stop. I, I can't remember, dude. Bunch more oak, damn it. No, the only one who sells is fire. Why is it always me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is your fault, maybe? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I didn't know streaming would could be exactly like high school. <laughs> back in back when I lived. Well, back when I was in high school, one of the one of the popular phrases was "damn it all, Paul," even though it's. <laughs> nah, you have to blame Avery for that. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, you just stopped by, by briefly in every stream, right? Like, for like 30 seconds. Yeah. There was uh, an area in Code Vein where it was raining fire. <laughs> oh no. Just saying. Oh yeah, mob griefing is turned off. Fuck. Do you want me to turn it on? Nah, uh, I just uh, I was gonna use a creeper to uh, to clear out a bit of stuff that I need to clear it out, but um, <laughs> I, I I was playing on turnip server earlier today. Yeah. And, uh, where I'm uh, I'm building the mining build that you wanted me to build. Nice. I'm clearing out a... <sighs> what would that be? 20 wide, 100 depth, 6 high. 
area of up. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. I'm also gonna build another hub soon. In that server. Nice. So is anyone planning on building a secret area that needs a lever code for, uh, to enter as a hideaway? No, I, I don't know. I'm not planning on building something like that. Is on Fire this, Panic build a On the thing? server? No. Yeah. When it comes to redstone, I basically stick to, like, simple designs. Uh, certain, uh... What was I saying? Certain yeah. um, really simple des uh, door designs, uh, simple machines, etc. Yeah. I, those code levers things are not as they're not very difficult. They're just like you know how like an and or nor or war gate works, right? Yeah. Mm. Basically like that. But it works then. What about the picture tunnels? What's a... Oh, yeah, one of those. Okay. No. No, really. I'm not planning that anyways. I don't know about anything else. Yeah. Schematics might. He's all into programming crap. <laughs> I know Schematics found Redstone yesterday. Quite a bit of it. Oh, nice. Who joined? Who's here? Hello. Where am I? Hello. Hey. I'm Matt. Hello. Is that Abyssa? I try to get into. Uh, yeah, it's it's Abyssa. I try to get into the GTA Roleplay No Pixel 3.0. I was fully about to donate fifty dollars to this fucking thing because you can only apply through donations now. What? And I didn't want to do the fifteen or thirty dollar donation, so I was like, let me donate fifty so they can see, like, you know, I'm willing to like throw in some money. Um, and I read all the thingies, uh, and you know, I was like, hey, my Discord's linked. I. You know, I did the, the things that you guys have been telling people to do. Uh, also, if I don't do I have to donate first and then apply, blah, 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 blah. And like, they didn't even answer my question. Let me send what they fucking said. I'll put it in. Uh, it's a fucking meme. I'll put it there because it's a fucking joke. <laughs> so this is my question. I was very nice, you know, I even put a little heart. Um, uh, what was the next one? I think it was Ha. Huh. I questioned them. I put them as questions. And then we have, wow. And then we have Reddit Dick. I believe I even titled it Reddit Dick. Start with the preview first. But I was like, I even looked in, like, I even looked in the pen messages, and I tried to explain, like, hey, I did these steps, like, I think it's, like, my account is bugged. But, like, he just, like, kept insulting me, acting like I, like, could not read. I'm like, clearly I can read, I'm responding, like, and I'm still being nice. And what's, what makes me mad is I was being nice, because I'm like, oh, this server has, like, a lot of opportunities, because everyone's watching GTA Roleplay, especially the NoPixel server, because that's where all the big streamers are. And so... I didn't snap on him. Usually I'm the type to be like, shut the fuck up, quit being a fucking asshole. And like, you know, I'll drill into them. But I was like, let me just be nice because I'm not trying to get banned. And I still got banned. What, what was the, the point fuck? of controlling myself? Those guys. Is, is that guy like a modder there? Yeah, like he's contact. part of their staff. The guy with okay. the orange name. He Can just you fucking. A, a different modder, maybe? No, I'm banned from the Discord, so I can't but even like, contact anyone. Uh, I went to Reddit, and that's what one guy said to me. Man, I those guys are guy. insufferable shits, oh my god. Yeah. 
He's like, you failed to listen twice. I'm like, no, they failed to listen. I tried to tell them that I, I already did the steps. Like, I need more help. Like, oh, what? <laughs> Man, people are stupid nowadays. Holy crap. Yeah. I was just are. so confused. Because I was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> like, what did I... Like, why are you so mean? You didn't listen. <laughs> I guess not. Like... But I, I, I tried to explain, like, you know, I've, I've, I followed the directions. All I did was tell him not to be hostile. And then I said that, like, you know, I'm not going to deny that you're coming at me with a belittling attitude. And I said that I would continue to read on my own since you refuse to be of assistance. When that is literally your role. And he banned me. <laughs> oh, and I went to their website to fill out, uh... Because you can fill out like a uh, a support like thing, yeah, like a like a form. He deleted them. My support tickets got deleted. Wow. So I'm just sitting here like this guy is literally like trying to block him from getting like any kind of like negative feedback. Seems like he's got a, uh, a fragile, uh, fragile uh, ego. He's got a tiny I penis. Agree. Well, yeah, because I'm like, oh, he's like, like he's coming so negative. Oh, I don't know. fuck, like, no. Sorry, I fell off the edge. I keep reading it and like, because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just reading it in a shitty tone. But every time I read it, I'm like, no, he was coming at me shitty. Like, he definitely was implying some kind of like, I'm too stupid to read. Yeah. Yeah, Unicorns just said, I lost all hope in humans for as long as I can remember. Yeah. I just lost all my wood. Oh. You want some wood? I have a bunch of slabs. No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, it's... <sighs> I don't get how some people can be mods and think they're reasonable. I don't know. Because I, I try to put, like, you know, like, I've ran sites. I've ran communities before. I've ran private servers. I've owned a website. I have a stream, like... I would never come at someone with such a tone. Yeah, but what you didn't know is that you accidentally hurt, hurt his feelings. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that's that's what we refer to as a tiny pee pee moment. <laughs> Very tiny pee pee moment. <laughs> I am mature. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, well, it's 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 how I always say you can be young once, but you can be immature forever. Mm -hmm. So, are you gonna move on to a different server then? I don't know. In all honesty, though, it seems like a massive red flag that you have to donate in order to get into a server. Yeah. Yeah. Still... Well, like their their standard whitelisting uh is uh like down. Mm hmm. Like, you usually could just, like, apply. Oh, and they, they have this thing where you can only apply five times. Because uh, if they deny you, you can reapply. But if you fail the five times, you're not allowed in. And if they find out that, like, you're trying to get back in, they'll, they'll ban you because you already had your five chances. But you can donate and then get five more chances. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Yeah. I, but I, like, I understand why they have to donate stuff, though. Yeah. That that I, I understand. It's, it's it's popular right now, so they might as well make money off of people wanting to join. And also, but, like all the trolls from example XQC's chat was saying. Huh. Oh yeah, XQC got banned from the server. Mm. But, I don't know what it got banned for, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, the standard applications aren't available at the moment since like GTA roleplay is so big now on Twitch and YouTube. So they're only letting you donate to apply. And the lowest you can donate is $15. Okay, ah. Uh, mm. And the most you can donate is $500. And each of them, they put like, this is not a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed ticket to join the server. This is not a guaranteed ticket to join the roleplay. And I'm like, I feel like if I give you $500, you should let me in. Yeah. Uh. Too little. <laughs> exactly. They're like, nah, nah. Mm. 
And it, like, they make you donate monthly. So then my other question was, what? like, do I have to keep donating if I got an as a donator? Or, like, can I just cancel after my first donation? Now they're just being greedy. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you straight from a game dev standpoint. Like, uh, I understand that people need money in order to, to run and maintain servers. That's fine enough. But there's a a limit to it you know like it's you don't go off and you don't start scamming people like that that's yeah. I'll, I'll say it straight up that's it's just straight scamming people they were, didn't yeah. like uh, world of warcraft do that for like a, a long ass time and they're still doing it right but that's 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 the devs like i know i know a lot of the devs kind of uh allow the private service to exist and that they'll they'll maintain the private service for them, and that like, how do I define it? Yeah. Well, my thing is like, they didn't create the game; they're just using the game to host a private server. So why is it so like? Why are your donations so expensive and shit? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's that's what upsets me. It's it's not their game. They shouldn't be charging more money than the game costs. That's that's hurting yeah. the, that's hurting the devs of all people. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I, I, to, I you still have to own GTA to like play the game. So like, yeah. Like GTA will still get money. It just won't be as much as this private server. Yeah, it's it's almost as bad as the calling. I'm not sure if you ever heard of that. No. Nope. Like of what their their business model is. Bas basically, they were the first quote unquote battle royale, uh, before like. PUBG and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they they did some updates and their their game went to shit. Yeah. Uh, and then they decided to announce. I think it was a, a sequel or a remake or something like that. And then from there, they said, "What was it? Uh, you get one free game daily. Uh, sorry, it's sorry, sixty dollars for the base game." You get one free game daily. Every other game you you have to pay for unless you win, which is like a slim to, na a slim to none chance because you're in a server with 32 other people. Uh, but you have to pay like, I don't know, like five bucks each game afterwards. Something extravagant like that. Like if you wanted to keep playing for the day. Like it's it seems w like as bad if not worse than that for uh, the no pixel. Yeah. I think it would have been fine if you had some price money into it as well. Yeah. Like, say you pay five bucks for the game, and if you win, there's 32 people, right? So that would be, like, 150 bucks, basically, in the game. And say if you won, you got, like, 50. Yeah. And then you could actually like, compete for it. Yeah. But like ser good. servers don't cost fifty bucks a month to, to run. I mean, not unless you're like, because I know Pixel has like three servers. But let's say three servers, thirty-two people each. That's what hundred uh, uh, ninety-six people. Ninety-six times fifty. That's a, a ton of money. I'm not. I'm not going to go into math. Um. That's if if you want a server with their like the this the 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 V Sky SMP, mm -hmm. it probably takes a lot more resources because a you have to deal with the random world generation you have to deal with everybody trying to load chunks up at the same time. Uh, this server only costs me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll straight frank say it, like approximately 20 bucks a month, Canadian. So I'm, it's, it's way over the top that they're asking for people. Yeah. Mm. This server, like, takes 40 guys, right? 40 yeah. Guys well, it could, it could take up to 80, but I limited it to 40 for now, just mm. so that the server is not trying to read 80 people at once. 
So that would be like, just for this server alone, you could make, uh, if you're using those numbers, it's 15 at least per person. That's like easily 1200 bucks yeah. per month on a single server that costs 20. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think, sadly, I think NoPixel has a monopoly, so they get away with being kind of scummy. Yeah, I, I guess you're right about that. It's the same way, like, take another company like McDonald's. They don't make the best burgers, but they are still able to maintain it because they're so fucking big. They have basically a monopoly on the fast food. Yeah. What you typing up this time, Abyssa? I'm gonna get that hate speech. Um, I'm being toxic. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> just, just uh, do, just do the uh, what did you say, you little shit, uh, cop like, pasta. Them just like started downloading my like question. Uh, so. I was like, so now people are randomly downloading me, what the fuck? Like, this community is not gonna, like, help me or, or, like, explain. Like, I try to, like, I try to explain that, like, I did everything that was, like, listed. That's still not working. And he was like, he put my, like, thing in quotation and said randomly, it's actually appalling how self-unaware you are. Look in the mirror and you understand that it's not random. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Now, now they're insulting you. Like, you don't even know me. Yes, it's random. You literally clicked a random fucking thing on Reddit and decided to be a fucking asshole. Like, and then to make it worse, I was stalking his Reddit and he literally shits on genitalia mutilation and compares it to being trans and says like those are the same thing oh my god and that like trans people don't deserve like respect so i was like sitting here like what the fuck like you're just purposely toxic like you're one of those people that like you use the defense that it's the internet and that's why like you're a shitty person like i should just have no faith and no hope that online people are going to be nice because it's quote unquote the internet mm. as if people like don't have like like what's the term like, they're self-aware, but they're also, like, conscience, like, uh, common sense, shit yeah. like that. I just, I um, just think that, um, you should have to, like, actually, uh, put an ID to everyone who want to use the internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, this might not be TOS to say, but, but in a way more strict way. So I feel like I can sit here being like a complete fucking douchebag and call you of this a bunch of the uh, the bunch of bad words basically. Yeah. And then at the end of the day there's like no penalty for that person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if you could somehow like, you know, Oh, it's uh, it's this guy from this place here. Uh, he said these things, and that's actually breaking a law. Like, I think isn't like discrimination against uh, people, yeah, uh, regarding their gender identity and stuff like that illegal. Uh, yes, bigotry. Yeah. Well, at least, at least in Canada it is. I'm not entirely sure about the frickin' states. Yeah. It's also illegal over here, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it should be illegal everywhere. But yeah. if, you could, like, if you could somehow find the person and then prove to like the police that they are actually being a bigot. But as, as much as I agree, it also leaves a lot of problems with uh, identity theft. Yeah, exactly. Know? And as much as I want those assholes caught, it leaves a lot of innocent people up in the air. Mm. Truly does, but, um, I'm just oh. saying. I'll be there in a sec. 
I have uh, I have very strong not US opinions about uh, how people treat each other. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I, I I can't say it here, but um, I, I yeah. Fuck assholes. <laughs> uh, no, I will you know. Yeah, I, I, I can't say it here. I, I definitely can, at least. <laughs> uh, I'll type it to you, you in, in, in Discord. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's my opinion on it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just just saying. <laughs> just saying. Alright, Unicorns, good luck. Oh, I should probably. Okay, I gotta go to the doctor. Yep. I have a, All right. an appointment today. Good luck and, uh, and don't get any bad news. Yep, take care, okay? <laughs> Mes yeah. Message us the results, make sure you're safe. Yeah, it's just a checkup. If you die, I'll, 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 I'll not lie to you. If I die, I need you to live stream as me and be the Empress. <laughs> I'm not sure okay. if I can nail a female voice, unfortunately. No, it's okay. We had, we had voice surgery. That's why, like, you guys... <laughs> And it's two voices, and it, you guys are merged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, bye. See ya. Bye. I think it's 24. Shiro, I'm back, says the unicorns. Welcome back, unicorns. Welcome back. I see how it is. <laughs> Abandon <Yeah>. me. Humans devolving. Return to monkey. <laughs> Return to monkey. <laughs> Return to monkey. F. No, that was intentional. Okay. <laughs> I gotta stop killing myself. I need to get. I need to make like a food. Mm. Let's get a bunch of potatoes. Yeah, no, I know. I just I, I wanted to set up my my area first before I started building like farms and whatnot. Yeah, I built like a uh, a house that would would be able to accommodate every survival <laughs> uh, every survival need I had. Nice. Yeah, I I I'm bad because I build first and then ask questions later. <laughs> nice. Um, what was I gonna say? Do you have a stack of potatoes that I can have? Uh, you can go to my farm and just take the ones that are, like, done, right? Okay. Just didn't know if I, if I had the ability to do so. I built it all wrong. Oh! Oh, that's new! We have a new bot! A new, new kind of bot. Wait, do we have a new bot? Yeah, look at my. St Bob Bob Wilson. Yeah, but it's it's a. To get these peach punch trees. Nice. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's that's some nice kids. <laughs> Are you making a skyblock? Skyblock? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna tear all this down because I realized I made it wrong.
That's hilarious. I that's I'm so glad there's a new bot to to ban. Ooh. So I'm in talks. Nerd. With that, with the, oh, okay. I'm in talks with a guy on on Facebook right now. Mm. I might might be getting a uh, a uh, an Oculus Rift. Nice. Yeah, I, w I would want like one of those like you know full body tracking suits. Like the uh, HTC. Uh, yeah. And with like you know finger tracking and toe tracking and toe tracking. That's new. Tracking. <laughs> <laughs> and like like the full full kit, so I could like literally move around. <laughs> How the hell do you get out of this? Oh, in there? I'm stuck. I wanted you potatoes. Don't you don't get out of there. Uh. No, no, I wouldn't. Unicorns. Uh, I don't want to break anything. That's the problem. Yeah, my like, look, you seriously can't get out. Uh. Get in there either, unless you're like dumb. <laughs> Well, I was trying to find a way into to get the potatoes. But the potatoes are over at my house, not in there. Oh. The potatoes, like, right next to there that you walked past. <laughs> uh, hey, viewers, I just got it. You got, got the bots. Nice. Bye. Open up this goddamn trapdoor and let me out. No, even if you open the trap you can't jump out. So you're saying the only way is to kill myself? Yes. <sighs> or I could go into game mode spectator and fly myself out. Yes, then you could also start getting sure sure about certain name tag. Oh, I I hate this because I have an a a an iron axe and a pickaxe. Uh, if you kill yourself over the fence stuff, it should drop down and be, uh, like, forced out into the, uh, the other farm. Or I could kill your villagers. No. <laughs> you could. As long as you leave two, uh, yeah. as long as you leave two of them alive in there, it's fine. Alright, well, let's see how we're gonna do this. Splash game will be... Black Vader would probably be the easiest. I have... That also works. What? Oh no! Are you kidding me? You still in there? Yeah, because I accidentally set my spawn on a bed. Okay. I'll come over there and help you as soon as I turn down this. Uh... Alright, I managed to get onto a fence, so... Let me just uh, get, down, get down from here first and I'll come over and help you. I think I got it. Sure, do you know why fire sauce? No fire, why are you sauce? Because no, nobody likes me, everybody hates me. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, you got out? Yeah, thankfully. How did you get out? Uh, thankfully, I, I managed to get into the fence, broke the fence, replaced the fence, and then broke out the side of the thing. Okay, as long as you repair everything. Yeah, I did. Alright, now I steal your potatoes. <laughs> now you steal your potatoes. I was gonna go over there and, and say, What are you doing, Stepfire? <laughs> because everyone is suspect. Okay, everyone is apparently sus. It's just how it is.
By the way, if you want easy access out of a fence, put carpet on top. Yeah, no. Thank you for the potatoes. No problem. All yours. <sighs> Give me a bucket. Shiro, name your favorite SCP. I don't know any SCPs, dude. Do it. Um, zero one one. No, zero zero one. Zero zero one. <laughs> Zero zero one one zero one one zero 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 one zero one 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 zero. Yeah, the the actual like you know, zero. The 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 one. <laughs> you your bed. I don't even know what it does. I'm on my way. Don't even know what the, it does, but uh, let's take that one. <laughs> Why is fire quilting bender? <laughs> um, did you replant the taters, by the way? I did. Nice. I don't know why fire is quilting bender. I'm so close to finishing off my pathways here. Nice. Also, which SCP is Series Hero 1? There's like eight of them. Is there? Oh, yeah. S -S SCP-1001 mm. is the one that nobody knows about. So there's like a ton of different uh, thoughts on what it could be. Mm. Well, since I don't know anything about SCPs, I heard something about an unkillable lizard, like... 683, yeah. Mm. And I had like a fun... F I c it came up with a fun idea. What? Basically like an SCP that is everything at once. <laughs> like, it is... It is life, it is death, and it is... Hey Dan, how's it going? Sad, and yeah, SCP Minecraft mod would be interesting. Right? Say like again? It's, it, it's like a duality. Like it, it's it's everything at once, so and constantly every at once. So like if you're, it's alive and dead at the same time. <laughs> it's it's happy, it's sad at the same time. It's um, and if you touch it, you also experience everything at once. 
finally, I can finally rage gasm. <laughs> rage gasm? I don't know. <laughs> Not what emo is, but sure, go for it. <laughs> Because I think that would be like a fun SCP that is like everything at once. Mm -hmm. So, like, imagine if, like, this is the story basically that I came up with, with the unkillable lizard. It it can't die, right? Yeah. So it can never experience death. Hmm. So if. If that one happened to touch, if the lizard happened to touch this, like, um, this one that experiences everything at the same time, yeah, it would not be able to experience death. So, that SCP, whatever we call it, like 69, <laughs> uh, would then reset the entire world and try again until it can experience everything. Interesting. But so it comes to the conclusion that, well, if it can't experience death, then it should not be allowed to experience life. Hmm. And then the, the, the unkillable lizard just like, like crumbles. Interesting. Are we talking about SCP-682? I think so. That's the unkillable lizard, right? In that case, yes. Yep, one of my favorites. It's gonna be such a cool village. But it's gonna be as cool as Bogville. <laughs> Probably cooler. <laughs> Even more fog than Bogville. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I do gotta say, the islands though uh, make some really cool environments. Mm, they really are. By the way, I added a, uh, a mods channel, or a mod ideas mm -hmm. channel, in case you yeah. wanted to add something like, oh, we should add the mining dimension, or something like that. Shiro's dimension. When Fire is gonna play a SCP game? No idea. When is Fire gonna play a SCP game? I don't know. I have no What's plans it? for it. Nor do I. Nor do I have like any desire to right now. No, I, I, <laughs> yes, ask me about what you're gonna play. <laughs> Now, my next game that I'm thinking about is probably Sonic Unleashed. Ooh, the, the werewolf Sonic? Yeah. I enjoyed I like, that game. Like, yeah. As, as long as it's not... Pardon? There's a lot of people who don't enjoy the Sonic games. No, I know. It's not for everybody, but... I just... I, I played it a long time ago. Mm. And I, I heavily enjoyed it, so I might as well... I, I want people to stick around for personality and not for games. Yeah. Because I, I see too many streamers get torn apart by chat 
for not playing X game when they want it. Mm. Kind of feel the same. Uh, yeah. So. It doesn't matter if I play Minecraft or I play Borderlands. If, you're, if you want to be here, you'll be here, right? Yeah. I want I want people to be here to be chill to enjoy themselves. Uh, no, one of my favorite Sonic games actually. What? Try and be here. Yeah, unicorns will always be here. Um, one of my favorite Sonic games, which I know this is gonna be like such a controversy because people don't like it. It's the Wii with the sword, uh, like Sonic oh, uh, chain or whatever. There's Can't there's play. the the seven rings and secret wind or something like that. It's basically where Sonic becomes King Arthur. Yeah. Basically. And a lot of people would be like, "Oh no, that's the worst one. How could you enjoy that?" People just need but to shut up. Enjoy, people still enjoy those sex. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, you know. How am I supposed to like water this up? Any Sonic game is enjoyable to watch, sometimes only because they're biz such bizarre games. Yeah, no, uh, that's that's totally right. Like so Sonic games, I I enjoy just for how off the rails they are. Mm -hmm. That I like. <laughs> no, nobody likes 06. Let's let's be real. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I have. When have you lost and not messed up? Hey, that's a rude unicorn. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. What's the one where Sonic has a human girlfriend? Oh six, we don't talk about that one. You're telling me a, a story about a hedgehog having um, love interest in a 16-year-old uh, uh, teenager is wrong? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> So you're telling me it was wrong for me to have the. Uh... <laughs> no, <gonna> go <laughs> don't don't continue that. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> hey, I still supply you with squids, which means you're still the top stream. <laughs> oh, so that, that's how it works. As long as you have squids, you're the top. Nice. To bed. Uh, yeah, let me just finish off. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Well, I'm gonna hydrate. Pepsi again? Of course, always. <laughs> also, failing constantly makes great content. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, it truly does. 
Why? I fucking closed this properly. Why is it goddamn leaking? <sighs> Stupid iced tea. You got a leak here. Alrighty. Why did the music just get... Holy god, ow! <laughs> music? No, the, the music... <laughs> Why do I hear boss music? I feel like if my mic, mic and headphones don't break, I can make a pretty good stream. Yeah, probably. Probably. Why is my brain failing me? I ask myself that every day. Hmm. Trapdoors. Did I make with a bunch of trapdoors? Shiro make a secret chest for pe uh, pur purposes. <laughs> nah. I don't think anyone steals on this server, to be honest. Yeah, I, that's uh, that's that's the other reason why I kind of monitored everybody closely before I added people, so I know that there's like, if they're gonna do something bad, at least they're gonna be reasonable about it, uh, reasonable about it, or uh, like talk with people before they steal. Mm. I, I, I gotta admit, I have stolen some things. <laughs> but I've always, like, said to people that I did it, and they were usually okay with it. Yeah. Otherwise, I, otherwise I have compensated them with uh, more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I... Oh, I get it. 
Oh, I get it. I, I get it why I messed up. Okay. Darn, then I'm gonna have to try to make fire join the dark side. You might try as you might. I, I feel bad if I ever do. He's already there. <laughs> Good guy, fire. <laughs> now let's not go to extremes, man. <laughs> I think uh, yesterday Avery said that, um, like, it's, it's looking like we at the Beast Guy Industries are just building final. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was we no schematics that got the V Sky Industries. There <laughs> you go. Or name. Wait, he's he's making a company on the server, or did he like get the domain? <laughs> I just he just said it. Uh, ah, just said it in passing, you know. That makes sense. I'm just kind of stuck. Unicorns is setting up their own Twitch. Yeah, I've heard you talk to Avery about that um, in his streams. Hopefully get it set up. Game is coming along great. Nice. Alrighty, what am I gonna do? Inspired by idea for a SCP D D game. That's actually something I want to stream once, like D D. Yeah, I think it would be fun. I I, I play a lot of Pathfinder when when I'm with my friends. Mm. I haven't. I have never played D D before. I I definitely recommend it just for the the shits and giggles. Yeah, I I have a friend who plays quite a bit of D&D, and I was, I asked if I could join, and they said yes, but it just, you know, haven't been yeah. feasible recently. Play D and D. I want someone to ask me on Discord and let me let me madness in. <laughs> yeah, if it ever happens. Um, I actually, had a, I actually have like a lot of ideas for homebrew. Homebrew uh, is always is always good in my opinion. Yeah, but it's my my homebrew is kind of broken, you know. <laughs> As, as it should be. No, but I mean, like, literally breaks the game up. Ah. What the um, fuck is going on here? I, I made, like, a completely new mage class. Which is, like, a... Um... Uh, I call it the Augmenter. Ooh. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. 
So imagine that the wizard throws a fireball, which causes its action point, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the augmenter can spend their action point in the middle of the wizard's turn to augment the fireball. So there's augment like, uh, like concentrated effect, which yeah. means less AOE for more damage. There's multiple projectiles, which means instead of throwing one, you throw three that are split over a certain area, and they all deal a third of the original damage. But you can hit more people, right? So yeah. It's always interesting, like but it's going to take a lot of balancing in order to get it right. Mm. So, you could basically, and you also get certain augments have their their cost being uh, bonus actions as well, mm -hmm. instead of full action points. Okay. Costing, you know, they're, they're weaker, but they also can be used in certain ways that the other ones can't. Yeah. So, um, say that you're playing like a, a ranger or someone with a bow. I don't know if that even exists, but, but sure, let's go with someone with a bow, right? Yeah. And they shoot um, two arrows. Both of them have a 50% chance to hit. One hit, one miss, right? Yeah. Uh, then the augmenter can choose. No, I, I want to change that turn to... Uh, so I'm using lesser projectiles on uh, on the arrows, hmm. on that that arrow. So you remove the other one, but the other one gets double damage. Interesting. And stuff like that. So you're you're able to be like <laughs> stupid strong. I'm gonna ask who you want me to play when we do it, just based off the voice that comes with them. Uh, there is the OMG, it's so pretty teenage girl voice, the honorable samurai voice, and the um, Smash Mouth voice. Did I just hear I Smash follow. Mouth voice? I, I don't, I don't hollow. I, I don't hollow, I don't follow. But sure, I agree. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Uh. Where did I put like all my freaking... There we are. But yeah, I would like to do D&D &D sometime. <laughs> The one thing I wanted there to try to voices. Oh Go ahead. I think I think they're referring to like voices for D and D. Yeah. I'll I'll be there in a second. Um Yeah, no, the one thing I wanted to do with uh like I know we have like Minecraft or V Sky, but mm -hmm. I was thinking of doing other things like maybe a karaoke night like you said a couple streams ago. Oh, that would be so fucking fun. Maybe like a board game night or something. Just simple games that all of us can kind of get into really easily. Mm. Monopoly, you know. Ha. I know every one of us can't stream for eight hours, but yeah, <laughs> that's just Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> now we the longest Monopoly game I've ever played, literally lasted for three days. Jeez. Like we 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 started like. Just after lunch on like Friday mm -hmm. or Saturday, yeah, and we finish it after work on Monday. Why did it take so long? Because we just got like we. I think we did like forty laps around the the thing. So everyone was just fucking stacked. <laughs> uh, did you win to the, to the max?
pick a voice and I will bring that be that character. Yeah. Um How about a uh, Tasmanian voice? <laughs> See if if we do D and D there's a there's a class I really wanted to play or a character I really I created. Cause with with me being a DM, I'm always like interested in character creation, even mm. if, if it's the stupidest things. Uh, the character I want to play is what's his name? Uh, what was it? It was uh, Jarvis and Le Caviar, uh, which is a a like a it's called an adventuring chef. It's a custom uh, custom class I found online. Mm -hmm. But it's it's I'm gonna modify it or sorry play it like a uh, a tank wizard, <laughs> which would be stupidly hilarious. Mm -hmm. Why did my carpet get destroyed? Uh, yeah, I actually actually made a class for like a character that I wanna wanna play. It has a bit of my homebrew in it, um, which makes it not viable for normal D and D play. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a paladin who is a sworn breaker or oath breaker, or whatever it's called, you know. Yeah. Um. And. The backstory is basically that he he defied the High Paladin to save his hometown uh, and the city they were in. Nice. And therefore he became a Oathbreaker because he defied the Paladin, right? Yeah. But the the entire like city revered him as a hero, which. Which the high paladin the like, right? So um, yeah, uh, he got kind of mad mm -hmm. and started slaughtering <laughs> all the people, and then Yikes. he woke up like thousands of years later, wanting to figure out what had happened to his home city, why it still wasn't around. Uh, but he came back as an undead, yeah, wielding the axe of gluttony. And the Axe of Gluttony is one of my, my homebrew weapons. Nice. What does it do? Um, it or is that something you're saving? Nah, uh, yeah, nah. I can, I can explain it to you. It's not very, very super, super unique. But, um, basically, it wastes nothing, the Axe. Yeah. Deals zero damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. But every swing you do makes it heavier. Hmm. And you require 25 strength to wield it. So you gotta be very, very strong. Yeah. That's a really interesting concept for a weapon. So, the more you swing it, the heavier it becomes, right? Yeah. It also needs to do more damage, but also lowers your accuracy. Yeah. So you is, is, is there a way to, like, lower it? Uh, yeah. If you, if you take a rest, like a long rest, uh, the entire counter is reset. Okay. So either you do like you would say a lot of damage, but you have a fifty percent chance, or you do normal damage, but you have a fifty percent chance to hit and miss. Yeah. Or maybe you do a bit more than normal, you know, mm -hmm. to make it a little bit strong. Or you do like earth-shattering amount of damage, but you don't hit. <laughs> you basically have to crit at that point, and even then, it triples your damage. <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, if you would have crit, you would literally kill enemies in different campaigns. <laughs> and 
No, because, because it scales infinitely. Mm -hmm. And you can't go below 1% accuracy. Yeah. So... I mean, technically you can, but at that point it's a broken weapon. Hmm. So, you, you could literally, like, send ripples through the multiverse with the amount of damage you're doing. <laughs> I love weapons like that. As broken as they are, as a DM, I, en I enjoy the rule of cool. If, 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 if it functions and the dice roll for it, go right ahead. That's mm. I, I adapted that rule after my fa very favorite uh, D and D character, Sir Sangram Ironvale. It's it's mm. like your it's your common like dwarf artificer. Uh, loves building anything, but for half the campaign I couldn't do squat because of work and whatnot. Mm. Um, so what had happened was I talked with my DM. I did a bunch of really really high rolls and like one really low one. Uh, and so because my, everybody was like off doing things, uh, mm. they would come back to really weird things happening. And it was, it was a pirate ship adventure. So, but they, mm. they stopped. So for example, one time they stopped off at like uh, a mountainside to go, to go into a dungeon and my, mm. and my character decided to go into the dungeon as well behind them without them knowing, take all the mithril mm. plates off the walls and it's completely attach it to their pirate ship. And as 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 the as the dungeon master told me, oh yeah, you you got extremely drunk, started swinging by swinging off the ropes with uh, by your ankles, uh, nailing plates to the ship, and so they come <laughs> they come they come back to this really armored ship, and they're like, oh cool, but how are we gonna drive this thing? So they they go inland to try to do something, and of course my character is like, oh right, they're 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 smart about that. Uh, I'm gonna go in. And I'm going to, uh, what, what did I do? I went in, uh, created a bunch of uh, magic items called Decanters of Endless Water, all set to Geyser, with the code word Geronimo, which my, which my paladin buddy always loved yelling before he got into a battle. Okay. So, so they, they managed to get a, a sail that was just large enough to get them into the race, mm -hmm. um, the pirate ship race. And as as they're about to like head into the the hurricane, uh, the paladin yells Geronimo, and of course this <laughs> this heavily armored pirate ship takes off at the speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "What the hell is happening? What did you do?" And all, like everybody's blaming the paladin and whatnot. Um, <laughs> and as soon as they, they they finish and get their own island, I set up I set up my workshop, and uh, I finally. Uh, like when, once once I got once I got my workshop, I built a massive furnace golem, but turned off mm. the furnace part, so <laughs> so that my 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 character could ride in it, because <laughs> he because he managed to fit, and completely uh, replaced the arm with a ballista. So that campaign was the basically the invention of the modern battleship. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. My, the favorite story I've heard about D and D um, was a dwarf that was really dumb, but super strong. And all the all his teammates have been like uh, they go into the last, the last dungeon. All mm -hmm. the teammates get stuck in traps and whatnot, and he's the only one in like the control room because he crawled through a vent. Yeah. Uh, but he's too dumb to figure anything out. <laughs> yeah, because he only had like he had like twenty seven strength and zero intelligence. Oh no. Uh. So he realizes that there's some wires uh, going into another place, and he finds uh, he rolls for if he can figure that out. He rolls a d twenty. Mm -hmm. He crawls through the, the new vent into a room that had a boiler in it, uh, which was uh, like giving power to all the all the traps and mechanics and stuff in the dungeon. Yeah. So he decides to um, to because uh, he couldn't figure out how to turn it off. 
so his all he wanted to do was smash. <laughs> so he suplexes the boiler. <laughs> hmm? No, I just I, I I just love that thought of suplexing a boiler. It doesn't release from the floor. But he keeps putting all of his strength into it. Like every bit of bit of dwarven strength he has. Yeah. Uh, all the dwarven muscles, you know? <laughs> he keeps suplexing. The entire dungeon starts to creak. Cracks form against all the walls in the dungeons. As he keeps suplexing, the uh, the uh, the boiler still doesn't release from the floor because these these bolts they're freaking strong, you know. Yeah. He manages to turn the entire dungeon upside down. He suplexes the entire dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Every mob inside the dungeon, at the same time, as well as the final boss, everyone in his party gets max level, because he killed like 600 guys. Jeez. Uh, in one suplex. Man, D&D &D is with, crazy. Yeah, and it ends with that um, he's lying on top of his friends with his back. Uh... With the entire dungeon has have been cr like crushed onto his back, so he's like lying under the entire uh, dungeon, but still protecting his friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite like D and D stories. Yeah. I've I've I I love D and D so much. It's you hear so many awesome things people have done. Yeah, my my, my friend. Uh, they were doing a campaign where they were out at the ocean. Mm -hmm. They got attacked by uh, Le Kraken. <laughs> the wizard want to send a fireball at the Kraken because fireball is always the answer. Yeah. That's a blaze the entire ship. <laughs> uh, their bard rolls a d20, scaring the kraken by saying literally "boo," and the <laughs> kraken got scared. Um, <laughs> nice unicorns. Um, the internet is back. Um, so that, uh, but what happens is that the kraken gets away. They're very close to the town, uh, so that they they sail into the town in a burning ship. <laughs> Everyone in the town thinks it's uh, it's a um, a demon ship out of the abyss <laughs> uh, because it's burning, right? But yeah, the ship shouldn't be able to do that. So they all get in the uh, in front of the. Um, the king or his majesty mm -hmm. and I have to explain what happened the bard being a dwarf wearing only a thong <laughs> starts flirting with the first princess oh no the king he succeeds when the first princess like falls head over heel yeah or the, the bard in just a thong the king didn't like that so his entire party is executed. And that's the end of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the entire party ex executed? Because the wizard rolled they won in... in... Delegents. <laughs> <laughs> I just explained the story of why. Absolutely yeah, crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. Will this work? Any Minecraft experts can, can, that can tell me why this doesn't... What are you trying to do? 
A creeper for me. Is it too light? Boy, I'm getting a bunch of lag. Holy crap. Fire? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just. I'm having a bit of internet issues here. Mm. I like how it says on the tab in Minecraft that I have better connection than you. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, you almost have 64 deaths. Slash kill Shiro. Why doesn't it? You don't dare, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it now, all my items will be destroyed. I will send them. Please don't. I won't. I think it's just too light. Why, why am I having internet issues? God damn it. I'm assuming it's just too bright. Kidding me. Yeah, any Minecraft expert in chat? This doesn't work. Why am I why is this take lagging so much? You haven't, like, accidentally opened something? No, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna quickly troubleshoot my internet, hopefully it fixes it. Mm. It's super dark in there now, so light level two problem. Oh, my internet's bad. My, my internet is slightly better now. Hopefully that works. Hopefully. Might be the carpets. What are you trying to do? The creeper farm. Uh 
I'm guessing it's the carpet. I'm gonna have to remove the carpet and hopefully that will fix it. Then I will get spiders as well, which I don't want. Holy fuck, internet, why? Alright, you know what, I'm gonna set up the base for this and then I'm gonna call it quits just to see if I can fix my internet. Yes. Internet, more like internet. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, let's see if it works now. <sighs> Getting frustrated. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off the the radio for now. Hopefully that'll restore things. Is the spawn platform too small, maybe? You're trying to spawn creepers, right? Mm hmm. I think this is. We're going to the. the... Alright, hopefully that fixes things. Nope, still crap. All right, well, let me figure out. I'm just gonna play in for the field of view for now. Am I back? Nope, still crap. I'm dropping like a majority of my frames. Mm. Definitely gonna need a ton of spruce wood, that's for sure. You gonna spruce up your base a bit? God damn it. Yes, that's the 64th death there. To raid <laughs> Woo! If you're wondering just what you're getting into, raid we got a stack of death. Someone who knows a little bit more about Minecraft to tell me what's wrong. Because I don't know. Uh... 
Let's see if I can take a look at it. I'll, I'll be right there in a second. Just want to finish looking at something here. Hmm. Where is the map? No, I'm just putting effort into uh, lighting up my place. Yep. Everywhere except where I want them to spawn, which is in that form. Wow, the map the map actually looks cool uh, with my town. Nice. I'm playing SCP-3 Labs, and if I feel like I'll go, yeah, you can. I, I suggest you know, when you're first starting out, just always be live as much as possible. Yep, I, I and try to have like a set schedule to it so that people become used to you. Mm -hmm. Actually, if the internet's still holding up, I'll keep going for a little bit longer. Um, what did I want? I wanted... Oh, now I remember why it was down there. Wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. You in your bed? Yeah, I'm on my way over there now. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try something first. Yeah, no, I've picked up the pumpkin. It's the old dodds. I hate SCP-939 and SCP Secret Labs. If I'm avoiding him or not. I don't even know who that is, but sure. I agree. Alright, time for more spruce. Isn't like there's a sp spruce boys over by me? Is yeah. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, go I'm gonna go there now, I'm just... I'm thinking I might expand my city a little bit more onto this, the, like the rest of this larger island, and that way I can create a nice bridge over towards your area, like where I am. So he's a T-Rex. SCP-939 is just a T-Rex. Is that what you're telling me? Hey, there you are, fine. Just as a quick a note to unicorns, uh, and as as much as you enjoy SCP, it is a bit confusing when you start to talk about it and not like describe it, like because we, we don't we don't know all the numbers. I don't scare me like that. Uh, so it's better to go with descriptors than like what the number is. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the fire throwing sauce at uh, these unicorns. Very good. <laughs> Oh wow. Uh 
Uh, do you have wheat? I have some, yeah. Okay, can I borrow some? Sure. I'll grab it and come over to you. So I'm, uh, I'm right, I'm, yeah, I'm just right behind you. Yeah, but if you stay by the cows, it'll be easy. You're right. I was gonna lure them over to my base. I only have sheep and chickens. I mean, I wish I had pigs because pork chop sealed the most, but. Uh, isn't pork chop and beef basically the same thing? Uh, no. Uh, beef is three and a half, pork is four. Mm, the beef is way tasty. Just <laughs> uh, all depends on how you spice it. The pork chop just becomes like a shoe leather. Alrighty, thank you. No problem. Here we go. You got like a double cow? Yeah, I have two cows in here. Pss, pss. Did I just say. Did I just try to pss, pss a cow? You call it a Gusnir? <laughs> I think it was schematics yesterday that said. That sheep sounds wrong when you're talking about multi like multiples. Yeah. It should be called shoop. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> Tell me you, you don't want one sheep and a bunch. Man, I love wearing my shoops and shoop skin sweater. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But why doesn't this creeper thing work? Any big brain people have an answer? Because I don't. There's way too many adult villagers in here. Oh no. Alrighty, now the breeding commence. I'm amazing making prerognophy. <laughs> I don't have a single piece of stone. You're all out of cobblestone? Yep. I have iron though. I think I've... I dropped like... Several hundreds... I think I dropped like... 200 cobblestone into the void when I died. Or something like that. Ooh. So I was out exploring you know, mine shafts, and I was uh, building cobblestone bridges between them. Yeah. Then... Uh, I died. Ooh. Socks to sock. <laughs> Shut up, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
mom for my guy. I know you want mom for my pumpkin. I think I just leveled them up though. Oh! What? I could buy gold and carrots for one emerald piece a piece. Nice. Golden carrots are quite good, uh, good food, right? Uh, I think they tie with pork chops for food. Mm. Now I just gotta figure out why my creeper stuff is important. Like they're just, excuse me, they're just not spawning? Yep, they're just not spawning. I'm gonna try to extend the, um, the spawning platform one block. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll even remove the carpet just to make the spiders also spawn, but they won't either spawn. So I'm guessing it's either light, but that shouldn't be a problem. Or just that the cats are stopping the spawn rates. I don't think the, them stopping a spawn rate it would be the thing. Mm, yeah, neither, neither do I. I think the cats are like. You're supposed to be able to use cast like this, and it's, it is pretty fucking dark in here, well... I doubt it is the cats that are stopping it, so it's probably just light level, but I don't see how that's the issue. Mm -hmm. turned all my wood into fucking slabs. <laughs> Oof. That would be a mod I want. Uh, you could be able to turn slabs into blocks again. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders are spawning there now. So we successfully spawned a spider. The CD place.
get some more iron while I'm here. Uh, the going carrots only give free in food. Okay. But they're super cheap. It's like I can get a bunch of them really easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, your town starting to look kind of nice. Thank you. Oh boy. How does you escape from there? What do you mean? How are the iron golems escaping from up there? It should be physically impossible, you know? Yeah. I need more spoofs. In your bed? Uh, do you have carrots on you? Uh, golden ones, yes. Okay. Uh, can I steal a potato? Sure. Did you, um, not plant your own potatoes yet? No, I cooked them all. <laughs> Once you're here, um, explain to me why this doesn't work. Like, you can see if you jump up here, that it's very dark in there, around the cat. Uh, I think the light levels are too high around the edges, that's the problem. Okay. Uh, that and the, uh... I, th I think the it needs to be too high in order for it to... To spawn the nope the, the, the only the, creepers creepers aren't two blocks high so they're able to spawn under trapdoors. Hmm. That's the only thing I think that would be stopping it, but that's that's just that yeah, it, it doesn't. It's not supposed to, at least. Oh, that's uh, that's the only thing I could think of, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. but I'm gonna try to like remove the cat. Um, come with me, kid, kitty cat. And kitty cat up here, come with me. If I remove the kitty kitty cats, they're gone. All right, thank you for the, thank you for the potatoes. Yeah, I don't know why they would. That's. Uh, are they able to spawn on dirt? They can spawn on grass and stone. I don't know about like straight dirt. That is true. That is kind of true. 
Not you say it. I'm gonna try to break like a few of trapdoors there to see. But, but then the skeletons and zombies should also be able to spawn. But they wouldn't be they wouldn't be scared away like the creepers are. Exactly. But I just want to see if they can spawn like in the center. Okay. Um, see if it's that way. It's just light levels doing it. All right. I doubt it is light levels, but um, you never know. It's even night out, so yeah. And there's no torches up there, so. I don't see the problem. Oh, now they're spawning. I was just too close, maybe. Possibly. Spawn two creepers up there. So let's bring the cats back up. Let's see if more spawns though. Okay, so those creepers just despawned. Now two more should spawn, or at least a few more. Please spawn. Keep in mind, it's also due to the, like the total server uh, mobs. Yeah, like the and en the max entity. Yeah. I doubt that's a problem because I don't really have that many villages. But could be. Yeah, but zombies are not even spawning in there, so it's probably just light level. Hmm. Uh, if I try to box it in, I almost died. Do slabs like do they not cover light? They do, right? Uh, I don't. They they should. Oh, a spider just spawned, so it it definitely can't spawn in there. made it a bit darker. Please work. No. thing like one one trapdoor on each level maybe 
I should have at least one room to spawn. A lot has happened since I disappeared. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, it's quite a bit. But it's not working. I don't know why. New plan. But, uh, but I can't do that, because then the creepers won't be able to walk out, right? What if you encase the entire thing, but just enough out space on the outside for zombie the creepers to walk out? Mm, that was, that's what my what I was thinking. That is what I was thinking. We're gonna do that and that. Excuse me. I would need a lot of dirt. You don't happen to have a lot of dirt? Oh crap, I have I have way too much dirt. Nah. Fire fire being kinda dirty. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been streaming fire? Oh, uh, let's check that. Cause I've been alive for two. <laughs> 420. One. Nice. Off by one minute, damn it. <laughs> uh, where's all your dirt? Uh, in my ship, uh, in one of the left chests when you go down. Now, like five stacks less dirty. Yeah, take as much as you want. I'm not. Uh, Lord knows, I'm gonna be put, put like putting a bunch more in that chest because I'm gonna level out the uh, other half this island. Yeah, and then you're gonna realize, oh, I kind of want a hill of it. Oh, I <laughs> wish I had like twenty thousand stacks of dirt now. <laughs> Shiro, calling in a favor. Uh, I, I don't have 20,000 dirt, but if I get my iron farm working, I could give you 20,000 iron. <laughs> well, because initially I wanted to put like a metal, metal propeller on the back of my ship. Mm. So I was thinking, ah, maybe I can ask Shiro. Yeah, I, that, that's why I actually started with iron farm. But I need so, a name tag, so if uh, the great deity of fire could bless one with such thing. Well, I'm sure we can find one eventually, and the Bastion might have a couple. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't, I, currently, I don't want to explore the nether anymore. <laughs> I've already found a fortress, you know? Yeah. I'll leave that to someone else. Well, at least you're fair about it. That was the one thing I was worried about, was everybody just going to rush and do things, and then... Yeah. Okay, like my ent the entire time I've spent on the server has literally been getting villagers up and running <laughs> and doing stuff with them. And unicorns just spamming squids or octopi. Nice. But isn't it kind of sus calling other people sus? It got you there. So doesn't that mean the unicorn is the super sus? Hmm. 
I got a couple more walls on my uh, houses. Mm, nice. To be honest, I'm kind of assuming it's the slabs that are doing it, because it's not getting darker when I put up the walls. Okay. So I might need to place full blocks at the top. Okay. That, that might just be the solution, really. <laughs> All right, what do I want to do? Um... Uh, are you gonna have villagers in your village? Yeah. Nice. I just wanted to have it nice, nicer this time around because uh, last server I was on, I put them all in a jail. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, let's let's do something different. Yeah. I kind of want to build a minecart system once we get the uh, endless amount of iron. Yeah. And then I have to build a gold farm as well so we can get the power rails. Gold farm is easier than an iron farm in my opinion. Uh, you just need a you just need a ton of uh Magma blocks, which are really easy to get. Magma blocks? Mm-hmm. Why there? What you do is you put a, a magma block platform really, really high up. That on, mm -hmm. Because only piglins or uh, zombie piglins can spawn on them. Nothing. Does fire need a squid? Probably. Always appreciate a squidge. 
Uh, how I used to do it was that with turtle legs. With turtle what? Turtle legs. Oh yeah? You build like a big platform and in the center you have turtle legs. Which will make the zombie piglins mad about there being turtle legs and they want to destroy them. Hmm. I didn't know that. The more you know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> oh, you're not? Okay. Ass. This guy. Can I... Maybe I should have told you, you know? Oh, good. Um, out of, a curi out of curiosity, I have a question for you. Shoot. Um, do you have many of those mushroom lights? Uh, there's a bunch in the nether. Uh, like, I, there's like, if you go into the nether. Yeah. There's a, a forest there, just outside the cobblestone tunnel, or my, my tunnel, basically. Yeah, no, I, I, problem is, is that I need a ton, and I was wondering if you had any on you. Uh, no. I okay. think I only took two from the nether. <laughs> Alright, no worries. No. Just curious is all. So there exists a bunch of them. Just <laughs> no, I don't have them. I hit that three times. What did you hit? A creeper. Nice. Or should I say, oh man, that's kind of rude. Oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take over this this land over here. It'll be the massive city of, of uh, New Eden. Why, why New Eden? I don't know, it just seems like a really cool name to me. <laughs> Thought you had like an apple or something. Oh, but that would be a really cool banner, though. An apple banner. Just gotta watch out for the copyright, you know? Although Apple doesn't like the copyright, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that would be kind of cool. So I've encased everything in solid blocks right now. Okay. It should really not be a problem. We're light levels anymore. If I just stand a few blocks away, I can run back and I can jump up and check if they're spawned. Might be the lava that is emitting light. Could be.
Oof. Oh, you died? Yep. The boom booms. The all nines. Ah, oh, man. Like I said. Oh. Pick up the gosh darn fucking pumpkin, dude. Oh, <sighs> uh, you got a zombie raid incoming on you? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, so there shouldn't be a single piece of light except the lava in here. Nothing is spawning in there. Is there no way to check the light level? Not really. Maybe just maybe just leave it for a bit and see what happens. Cause I'm in here and it's pitch pitch black. Hmm. Pitch black. So client light. Yeah, it, it's literally a light level of zero. And two. So there, I'd is no, there is actually no light in here. I'd I'd probably just wander away from it and then just come back to it in like an hour or something. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah. So I just kind of want confirmation that it works, mm -hmm. spawning wise. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to put it in my cat stun just to see if something happens. Yeah. Uh, Unicorn says, phone dad, tell Shiro he's a sus boy. No idea what that means. Probably I'm a sus boy. Yeah, probably. Which I guess Unicorn said it, so it has to be, right? Sure. Is that how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Chat is always right. Ugh, I, I I hate that mentality. <laughs> that the customer is always right, whatever. Hmm. I actually have like a really insane story about that. Um, I was working at a restaurant. Well, and, there's your uh, first problem. <laughs> yeah. I know. But a couple... There were like... Four adults and six kids. Mm -hmm. uh, they came by boat because our our like uh, um, the restaurant was located right next to the river. Yeah. So they came in by boat. Okay. Yeah. Fine. That's fine, right? Mm -hmm. so they order the food. Um. And they don't order full meals for everyone. Instead, they order like, oh, I want the one burger split uh, on two people. 
So, um, they, uh, they, uh, then I served the food to them, right? Yeah. And, uh, it was delicious uh, and stuff. Well, that's what I thought. But the kids, they, um, they didn't really get, uh, you know, satisfied. They weren't, they were still a bit hungry. Yeah. Because they only got like half a burger. Uh, so they, they asked me to order in some fries for them. So I threw in the order for four fries. You know, perfect. The fries took some time. It took like uh, 15 minutes. Because, you know, we had other guests as well. Yeah. Um, and by that time, the kids had run off, like, the restaurant uh, place. Yeah. To a, a nearby supermarket. And bought, like, chips and chocolates and stuff instead. Oh my and god. And was eating that on restaurant property. Isn't that illegal in Sweden? It is illegal. Okay. So I came with the fries. And I, I told them, here are your fries. And I also told the, to the kids that, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to stop eating that on restaurant properties. Because that is illegal and you could be fined. If, uh, if reported to proper authorities. Which that they didn't like. Yeah. And because uh, the uh, they have ordered the fries before they went off and got supermarket stuff, they weren't hungry anymore. Right? Yeah. So they didn't want to pay for the fries. So, uh, <sighs> I took that up to the restaurant manager. They, uh, they, uh, said they didn't want to pay and he was like uh, why is that and I explained the situation out of how I saw it and he went and checked and it was as I told him or as I told the restaurant manager yeah so he said but you ordered the fries right you gotta pay for them uh, yeah but we don't want them they're not hungry anymore so uh, it ended up that we were we had to call the authorities <laughs> Jeez. They got fined $150 for eating on restaurant property, breaking a rule, as well as they had to pay for the entire meal. <laughs> Serves them fucking right. I hate I hate people that do that. And it's like it's it's the the funniest thing is that they, they like responded with the uh the the attitude of can I speak to your manager when I was talking to them. Ugh. So I was like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm a kind person here, you know? At least I gave you a fucking warning. Yeah. Like a spider spawned up there. Cool. Which means that the light levels are low enough. Yeah. And mobs can spawn in there. So let's place the carpet again. So right there. I just, I just think that's like, like, that's so funny that some people act that way. Yeah. And when they get called out by like authorities on it. Oh, but I wasn't in the wrong. No, I just wanted not to pay for the food I ordered. Ooh. So fucking stupid. It's a nice place to work, just not anymore, though. Yeah. Only handle enough bullshit in restaurant services. Yeah. 
I've, I've, I myself have never worked in a restaurant, nor do I ever hope I don't. I'll, I'll accept a job at one, but it's just one of those things, like, I hear so many horror stories about, like, shit like that. Yeah. No, it, it, it's painful. Uh, it it kind of depends, really. Mm -hmm. But, uh, there's, like, a lot of different type of restaurant owners. Restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Restaurateurs, as they're called. <laughs> um, is that the right way to place the carpet? Oh no. <sighs> Let's just place one. Because I need a 4x4, four four, right? So. Or is it 3x3? Three three? It might be a 3x3. Three There. Let's place one there. Let's place one there. Let's one there. That should work, hopefully. No, I, th I think the worst place I ever worked was the meat factory in uh, in one of my local cities. The meat factory? Oh, it was terrible, my dude. Like, alright, so, in Canada we call it uh, pea meal bacon. Which is basically just uh, a pork loin uh, coated in mm -hmm. cornmeal and then like sliced up and you, that you fried or whatever. Yeah. Um, and the pat, like... We we did we did pea meal bacon we did uh, what was it we did pork we did pork ribs chicken but it's all like the prepackaged meats and whatnot that you get at the store yeah uh, we did that but God I'm I'm not gonna name the place because I don't want a bunch of people going go, going jobless because of the company's stupid antics but basically to to name one situation they uh. There, there was one instance where the the chicken cutting machine, because what you would do is you just load the chicken into the machine and it would just shred it up. Um, mm. And the, chi the, the machine exploded and launched a bunch of chicken all over the floor. Nice. So you know right then and there that's probably like a health hazard and a half. Yep. Not to the company. They ordered me and two other people to scoop it all up, wash it off, and then dump it right back in the machine. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's that just churned my stomach. Mm. Like, but hours upon hours on end, just hooking and rolling this these tenderloins. Like I, I can feel it between my fingers because that's where that's where the hook would go. Hmm. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now sometimes. I've been in a few different restaurants, uh, like as part timers. It's not like a normal nine to five. Yeah. You jump at the restaurants just trying to scramble for hours. Mm -hmm. That that's how you work. Yeah. And some of them, like sanatory, is not not the name of the game there. Yeah. No. Literally, they could drop. It was like this beach place. They could drop like a chicken in the sand, and was like, "Nah, it's gonna be fried either way." So a bit of sand gets in the frying mix. It doesn't oh, work. oh, that's vile. Yeah, it was like a lot of that, that stuff, huh. uh, and other things at different places. Why do and companies fucking behind. do? Yeah, it's, I don't get why companies do that. It's it's nasty, and they can get shut down if, like, one person catches wind. Mm. 
but it was a nice and crispy, crunchy chicken. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> extra fiber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the good flavor, you know? <laughs> Fuck, man, that, that, that was bad. Some of those things, I've, some of the things I've seen has been absolutely vile. Yeah. It's even more vile than what me and Skeptical was talking about yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like how you just went into console and said you guys were vile. Because I wanted both of you to hear that. Just talk about drinking water. Sure, let's go with that. And how we uh, our water drinking habits? Is there something too bad about that? You know, I don't think so. Oh, I just got a lead. Nice. Need a bunch more fucking emeralds. And I'm getting lag spikes again. Yeah, I just had some switching back up in the server. The thing is that I'm not lagging that much compared to what I was expecting. Yeah. I'm surprised at how well like the server's been holding up, like in regards to you. To mm. some American based servers, like and turnip server is slightly more laggier than this, but it's like very playable. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. But it's still surprising how well the internet connection actually is between us. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I when I was asking around, I tried to make sure, like, oh, do you have, like, mo movability options in case we have, like, issue with one server? Hmm. And they're like, yeah, well, the, the furthest I could get for you was uh, US to East, so. Oh, god damn it. My internet is kind of kind of okay right now. Nice. So it, for me, it's not really a problem, internet-wise. Mm -hmm. But still, it's it's just the distance that is immense, you know. Yeah. That's what you get for having American and Canadian friends. Mm. Should never have been friends with you. <laughs> oh. Can I lead a build trader? Uh, may no. No, you can't because you can't break it. If I lead his, I can't. Just kind of want to trap him because <laughs> he's selling packed ice. Oh, is he selling cactus? Packed ice. Oh no, but I'm saying, is he selling cactus? Uh, no. Damn it. Did something. Packed ice. Okay, which okay. I want for ice puts. Yeah. If you see cactus at all, pl can you please buy me one? Yep, I will. Awesome, possum. Thank you. Uh, I'm so I'm close to, to finishing bed. one. Pardon? Wanna go to bed? Yep. I need to expand my pumpkin farm as well. Out right of my bed. Able to like harvest. Yeah, I'm also bad. I need to be able to like harvest a hundred pumpkins in one go. Wow. Yeah, no, big flex. Huh. 
I'm so close to finishing one of my houses. I love how your base is entirely utility and mine's entirely fancy. And I, I haven't made it fancy yet. I'm, I'm planning on on encasing uh, these farms in like big black rock towers. I thought I thought initially we were gonna do uh, glaciers. Yeah, but uh, ice is kind of hard to get by. Oh yeah. That's why I'm kind of happy about him selling stuff. Yeah. I, I still want to do that, but I need more ice, you know? Yeah. Um, well, I'm, there's there's a way you can get it. Uh, just have an infinite source block uh, very, very high up. Yeah, but you still need two push. Yeah. Which is kind of needs enchantment, which means diamonds. So all, all we need to do then is to get somehow get diamonds from villagers. Uh, that's impossible to do. Can't you smelt down like armor and whatnot? Let me let me check. Don't know. I don't I don't know how about that like mechanic. So I know you can get iron nuggets from things. I just don't know if you can get diamonds from tools. Probably not, I would assume. <laughs> oh, I messed up. I messed up. Well, apparently you can you can get diamonds from bastions. Yeah, you just have to find them. Yeah. But that's not a. It is renewable, but not, you know, viable yeah. really, in my opinion. I mean, the minimum we need is is enough for each of us to have a diamond set, and then, uh, like. Because tools and whatnot, you can easily just enchant the crap out of it, and it's the viable to a diamond. Mm. I would say we, we should at least get two, so we're able to just make, you know... Enchantments. Enchantment table. Yeah. Because once we have enchantments, iron tools are sufficient. Mm -hmm.
That's the wrong hole. Fuck. <laughs> I'm mature. <laughs> yes. You probably thought that was she said, right? Right? Yeah. No. No? Okay. <laughs> and I have no clue. The only thing I thought was giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Hello, 20 Dark Kaboom 20. Hello! <laughs> Just almost die. No. I thought I thought I just heard you gasp. No, I think that was a, was when I just like unmuted suddenly. Ah. Just happened to make a uh, sound. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Might have just died. <laughs> I also said to I asked the uh, Dark Boom if he, if he was doing good getting the night victories. That's still the YouTuber server. No, this is the VTuber server. The big difference. We're not. We're not YouTubers. But hey guys, what's going on? It's Final Fire sixty four. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and share. <laughs> Favorite. Please, it's the only way I know people like me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I need validation for numbers. <laughs> God, we are terrible people. Roasted like half of the <laughs> YouTube creators. <laughs> Only half? <laughs> no, it, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Dark kaboom. It's, it's fine. <laughs> you can call us uh, whatever the fuck you want, really. <laughs> I'm also called nerds. 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 How long can you make your shelves, uh... What do you mean? Like, it, is it, can you, like, just make it, like, 12 letters, or can you make it... 
25. I'm not sure. I hate falling. Falling in reverse? Bedtime? Question mark? Question mark? Uh, yes. Just give me a second here. Am I still on? I want 65 deaths. Oh no. Oh, now you've made me upset. I need to stop at 69. <laughs> no, and then no more dying. <laughs> Actually, 69th death has to be to the dragon. Wait, why didn't it become daytime? I'm in bed. Yeah, I I, I got thrown out of that bed. Thought it was daytime. <laughs> yeah, in bed again. There we go. my shield. Like, so a zombie actually spawned in people. Hmm. So I'm surprised creepers aren't spawning in there. What are you exactly are you trying to do a creeper farm for? Gunpowder. Why? Oh, are you trying to get like a shit ton of fireworks for the elytra? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, yep, clearly. Yep. yep. <laughs> Nothing else. Don't have to worry. Slash kill Shiro. Oh, why is half of the entire <laughs> got a stockpile early? Hey, right? <laughs> no, I'm I'm clearly using them for firework. That's clearly. <laughs> Not at all that I'm gonna go stockpile the sand as soon as the the creeper is done. Why do I want that? Uh, I'm just gonna build a lot of glass structures. <laughs> I mean, you do you. If I find you to be griefing, though, I'm gonna kick you from the server. I'm not gonna be griefing. <gasps> There's a creeper! Aw, oh, man. Gonna... I would never grief. Okay. But if you somehow log out, logged out, late work again, and died, then it won't be my fault. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're just gonna line my entire city with TNT and then just wait until I step on the one pressure plate in the alleyway? Yeah, start then. I wouldn't have been. I didn't destroy it. It wasn't me. <laughs> That's going to be my defense, right? Hmm. 
But yeah, exactly. I actually got some some good prankster ideas in mind. <laughs> Sadly, one of them doesn't work because then schematics would have already been poisoned. Huh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm personally a big fan of putting bells everywhere and sound checking AFK users. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's pretty rude. <laughs> oh, the creeper got stuck. Go help him out a bit. Oh, another... Another bot for the day. Big bots, you know? I think I got my first piece of gunpowder right there. Nice. Yay, one piece of gunpowder. <laughs> Stonks. Stonks. As the kids would call it these days. <laughs> uh, now, uh, my plan was to put uh, a um, a puffer fish under schematic sense. <laughs> because you're able to like waterlog a uh, a slab that is like an upward slab, you know. Yeah. You can put a puffer fish under there, so when a player walks over, it expands and poisons them. <laughs> uh, but I I caught a puffer fish, but I can't put it into a bucket, so I can't place it there. Which is very sad. Oh. Yeah, I finally have confirmation that I, the thing actually works. Awesome. Yeah. So, so you're just gonna yeah, wander I'm away from it? Uh, yes. Okay, time to blow it up. So you're telling me that you're blowing up the Awman for? <laughs> A second Awman just spawned. Nice. I don't think I got that gunpowder though, because it kind of died in the lava before it fell down. Yeah. We're getting all types of all men. Oh! Nora! Hello, Nora! I 
I haven't seen her online except from the debut. Same. But uh, yes, a lot of people have been doing other shit. <laughs> I'm the only one who's been playing Minecraft daily. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, tr I try to pace it out so it's every other day for me, so I'm not burning out instantly. Mm. What on earth am I doing? This one of my. I want to get my Dark Souls working again so I can get that done. Oh, I can tell she doesn't Skill like you. Sch sch schematics is jealous that I'm able to play Minecraft daily. <laughs> Well, the schematics, all you gotta do is not sleep, and then you have all the time in the world to <laughs> game. Yeah, like, just negate your health. Oh. Just don't sleep, you know? How hard can it be? <laughs> well, can you say something quickly? I say something very quickly so that uh, Final Fire is somehow able to test out the sound, I guess. No, for some reason your 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 mic popped and now you're much louder. Whack. Oh, he's out of eyes. So my my mic just popped. Yeah, like it like it. You know that sound when it's plugged in, uh, plugged in or something. Hmm. Kind of like that. Okay. I've had some problems with the mic earlier. I was creating a thick sound. And now it's oh uh, no, my thing is it's it's on my end. What what's going on? You accidentally like, the put fuck? me up high. No. Oh, is my motherboard going? Oh no. Yeah, I'll I'll let it go for now. That's something you never want to hear. Oh no, it's my motherboard breaking. <laughs> oh, Shiri, you left your game music on? Yeah. Should I not? It's, it, it's away. It's gone. Unless you're going for a double BGM aesthetic lol. Yeah, the double background music is the best kind of background music. <laughs> Nothing but endless screeching for my viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it, it feels empty without the, the Minecraft background music, in my opinion. And That's... the other background music is just kind of there for, you know... It sounds good. Yeah, that makes sense. I just I just use the video game radio. Mm. Sometimes yeah. you get some boss songs. Sometimes you get uh, some some funny boppy songs whenever you're telling puns, and it just works out. I'm just I'm just using like a Twitch uh, Twitch Spotify playlist. Okay. Basically. Just like designed to not getting copyrighted mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Please just give me a fucking song, but I want to pick this up. You want to pick it up? No. Wanna pick this up? Please pick it up. Be a good boy. No. Wanna pick up a hoe? Nope. Wanna pick up an axe? No. Wanna pick up a zombie head? No.
think I sadly need the. You need the what? I need a name tag. Does name do, do name tags change the chance? Uh, no. But basically, a monster or a zombie that have a name tag on it can't despawn. Okay. Same goes for a zombie that is able to pick up an item, mm -hmm. not spawn with an item. So, if a zombie picks up a shovel, they won't despawn. But if they spawn with a shovel, they'll with despawn. Uh, okay. So, and we're playing on easy difficulty, which means that there's a 1% chance that a zombie has the ability to pick up something. Is it not normal? I thought it was normal. No, I think it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, uh, let so me... It's a 1% chance that... Let me, let me change that. No. If you change it to hard, I think it's a 20% chance that I picked it up, which makes it way easier. I'm gonna just change it to normal. Then it should be like a 7% chance of them picking it up. Which is still like 7 times as likely. Yeah. Um, and basically when they pick something up, then they won't despawn. But if they spawn with it, they still can despawn. Okay. Um, and since I'm looking for a zombie that won't despawn. Um, so that I can have it in my iron farm, so it will constantly produce iron. Okay. It's kind of important. That's why I need either a name tag or a zombie that is able to pick up shit. Yeah. And I have found neither in like hours of searching. There, there was a zombie that had a sword earlier in my stream that just did spin to wind down the waterfall. Yeah, but but they have to they have to spawn with without an item and then get an item. Yeah. So it's like whack. No bueno. Fuck. Is a skeleton wearing enchanted golden boots? Huh. Over here. Oh, your town is really coming along, dude. Oh, thanks. I've already completed one house, I just need to throw a door on it. Yeah, that house looks adorable. <laughs> yeah, did you see the, the completed house? No, I only saw it from, like, over here. Ah. Kaboom. Was that intentional? No. Aw. Oh. Oh, These stupid, stupid stairs keep eating my jump. They're eating your jump? Yeah, like I try to jump when I'm when I'm on them and they just don't let me jump and I fall I fall to my death. Mm. Oh, I just got slowed by a witch. Get 
don't like the sound of this song, so I'm just gonna skip it. redstone from the the witch nice Let's see if the creeper from has produced anything at all still just one gunpowder Hey. What's up? Just checking out my village? Yeah. Ow. Why? That's unicorns. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable, my day is ruined. <laughs> just wanted to give you some food. Thank you. I'm kind of lost for what I want to do now. Well, why don't you uh, get working on some of the like design stuff? Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
no. Could start working on the villager trade hub. Probably a good idea. I want to leave that for another stream though. <laughs> kind of done the goal of this stream, I think. Why don't you go exploring or something? Uh, that's just this is for me, dude. All right. Leave that weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to steal weasels as well. So. Yeah, you and I, you and I just go in and steal all of his uh, iron or whatever. Mm. Creeper. Oh man. Gunpowder! Nice. I made two gunpowder. Well, I said something. Mm. At least it's something, you know? Mm -hmm. Just figured out an even better design I could do. What? Basically the same thing, but instead of lava, just magma block it. With a nice. minecart underneath. Now it looks like I'm going to be staying on for another 20 minutes and then I'm going to go host my brother. Hmm. Sounds good. Also, only going to be on for like a 20 minutes. Half an hour. Even though I don't really know what to do. Why is it putting it fucking upside down? Kidding me. Oh, I realized I can't. Damn it. Do you have a uh, brewing stand? Yes. Okay. I might need to steal it eventually. Final fee? No, I, I mean steal it more as in, like, use it. <whistles> oh, Jesus. Don't even really know where it is, though. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Who is, who is that? Oh, thank you, Jovic. I 
Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? There it is. Understand. The only thing is that you need a place uh, powder to make it run. Yeah. I'm sure I can go off and find some. But I need a ton more iron before I dare go back in there. Yeah, if you get a name tag or a zombie that's able to pick up something, just lure him up into the composter that's next to the villagers in the sky. Uh, put a slab on his head and it's done. Yeah. Um, no one would have endless iron. Awesome. The cow farm is going really well. What did you say? The cow farm is going really well. We got lots of cow. Are they just stuck in, in a fence? Yep. Where, where is it? Let me see. Uh, on the other corner. Oh, will you look at that? <laughs> Come here, Fanny. Look at this. Look at this. Peter would have liked this, just because they can barely move. Motherfucker. <laughs> I saw you pull out the axe and I did the same. <laughs> and I think you stole my axe and my pickaxe, I think. Yep, I got it. Thank you. Anything else you're missing? Uh, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> Alright, well, those are those three houses all done. Yep. <laughs> After I bought I dropped the viewer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Schematics comes over to my chat. The puns prevail. <laughs> Stop Schematics. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Can tell I'm loved. Ah, <laughs> uh, pick up the fucking pumpkin already. So what are you just doing, throwing pumpkins at zombies? Yes. And once one picks it up, they're immune to sun damage, or, yeah, light stuff. Problem is, you gotta stay near it or else it despawns. Uh, no, because it's carrying an item. It's they carrying stay... the pumpkin, so it hmm. won't despawn, ever. Okay. Which means it's basically a permanent zombie unless you kill it. Interesting. Which makes it able to scare the zombies, or scare the villagers forever. Meaning a bunch of fucking uh, iron for us. Awesome. And I need more doke. Uh, you need a bed? Uh, no, I don't need the bed because I get a zombie. Unless you want me to go to bed. Uh, yeah, probably a good idea because I need to go into the roof forest. Well, go to bed if you give me a name. I, I, the thing is, I don't want to like seem like I'm abusing my powers, you know. No, no, I'm, I'm heading into bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't want to cheat. That. Just that percentage-wise, I should have at least found one of them by now. I think. Yeah. Which is annoying. I haven't. Uh, because I've gone through. 
three fishing rods, which is 180 tries. And it's a 0.8% chance of happening, which would mean like 110. Yeah. So I'm way above the average, according to just stats. And I've also tried at least over 100 zombies. So even with the 1% chance of easy mode, mm -hmm. I should have gotten it by now. Let's... Ah, there we go. Some proper, proper streaming gameplay right here. <laughs> what are you doing? Fishing. <laughs> I am precisely clicking once every 300 milliseconds without fail. <laughs> While getting fish. Do you have like an auto farmer or something? Auto, no, auto I'm just, fisher. I'm just, I'm just precisely clicking. Nice. Nothing's gonna be going on over here. <laughs> God damn it, Shiro. I have one of those where you throw your lure onto a pressure plate, oh. which opens and opens a uh, a uh, trap door. Trap door, and you can click a note block over and over again. Hmm. And once the fish is caught, it lowers the gate, and you can't lick the gate, so you pull in. Okay. Uh, so... This is where I've been sitting, just using my fishing rod. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, someone, someone raided me? Someone raided Oh, jeez. Thank you, Sir Peaches. I, I didn't... F wow, my... <laughs> Hello to everybody. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, can't stay uh, streaming too long. But uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. You're here for some uh, exhilarating gameplay. Big game. What the fuck is? Oh. Oh, what's this music? It's absolutely. Bogus. Regardless, I thank I thank you, Peaches. How was your stream? There's your first issue, you were playing League. <laughs> oh, that, that wonderful game named League of Legends. Oh, my See, favorite. I, I've been seeing my friends play it, and I'm like, well, I kind of want to play it now that my friends are playing it. But also, I played way back in college and made myself a promise not to ever play it again. <laughs> just because of how toxic people were, and I didn't, didn't enjoy that. Even though I was playing just like against computers the entire time. <laughs> That's your fault for doing that, guys. Yeah, man. I stopped playing Lee like a few months ago. <laughs> and I'm better for it. <laughs> <laughs> Last game we had people trying to give tips and then raid boss joke. Oh no. Ugh. 
I hate taking off a bandage and like your entire yeah, the entire skin's like all tender. I had to put a bandage on my finger because of an accidental potato peeler. Oh no. Jeez. What was that? Oh, thank you, Sir Peaches, for the follow. You should all go follow, so, uh, follow, also follow Shiro, who's in, on stream with me now. Yeet! Go follow Shiro. Do it now. Shiro Zog. Also, let me drop a command in chat. That's a mistake. No. You'll, you'll oh. be... You'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Oh, that's playing, it's playing uh, Shovel Knight on this. Oh, Sorry. Shovel Knight, man. Banger. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Kaboom, for putting follow at Shirazog in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kaboom. Sir Peaches started the follow. Thank you a lot, Sir Peaches. Bam, there you go. Hello, Peaches. Um. Yeah, yeah, just siphon off my clout. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, your streamer is in another castle. Just get jump to Peach. <sighs> you know, Peach, Peach, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot for the follow, dude. I also brought the peaches here so my cloud follows. Yeah, Weasel, you're you're on the list, don't forget. Nice. It's you and unicorns just spamming squids <laughs> to rock the pussies. <laughs> but nice, I like it. I like it. I like the the octopi. <laughs> Working on fitting Muren's SMP into my times now too. Oh Muren started an SMP. Wait, who's starting an SMP? Uh, a friend of mine. Nice. I love this good. Yeah, I love this good as well. Ew. I've seen enough hentai where this seen, is going. I, 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 I think I've seen it before. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Angel squid, nice. I got some solid gameplay on my stream right now. Just me fishing. <laughs> right now I'm just building houses. Yeah, do you like my uh, my town so far, uh, Weasel? Jeez. 
item or lurk, you have a good one to boast dreams. Yeah, thanks a lot for the lurk, uh, Sir Peaches. Uh, I think I've... we're both quite happy to have you. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. So, um, uh, have a good evening or morning or afternoon. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, I think he's on my time. He's on maple syrup time, I know that for sure. Nice. So, uh, have a good evening. Or afternoon. Evening. Afternoon here. Not evening until six. One of those. You know? <laughs> Get it right! <laughs> State time, but almost five. Yeah, so you're you're the same time as me, so it's maple syrup time. Hmm. My God, I'm maple syrup time. <laughs> Bye, lurk. I don't have any of those commands. Yeah, I don't Can either. Put up this. <laughs> Problem is, I don't think they really do anything. No, but still. I should just have like a stream element set up. Yeah. Just to have it, you know? Yeah. Gotta make food BRB. Okay, Weasel. <laughs> Don't leave me with Shiro! Don't leave oh. me with Shiro! <laughs> Old man Weasel having to eat. <laughs> yeah, I've been going on this for almost six hours now. And Lord knows I promised I promised my, my landlord that I'd do some cleaning up today. Oops. Oof. Just streaming so you don't have to eat. <laughs> nice. Where has my count desynced? Maybe. It has. God damn. Is this 28? But I have 29. Peaches as well, Lord. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm having real, real. I just need a name tag, you know? Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get you one soon. Hmm. We still gotta explore all the mine shafts and find one. Yeah. Well, when, it, when he comes back, we can yell at him. It's all his fault. <laughs> Weasel, explore faster! <laughs> what do you mean you don't have the time to play Minecraft 12 hours a day? <laughs> Sounds like excuses! <laughs> Get your shit together! <laughs>
The worst thing about when I get the name tag is that I need an anvil. Oh. Is, so, uh, so you need iron to make iron. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's 31 iron. On anvil. Yeah, 31. Which really just like 6 goblins. 7 maybe. Depending on drop rates. Yeah. So I could manually spawn those goblins. Mm -hmm. Really? All right. That's that's true schematic that schematics. I could hit the strips and get enough anvil for the anvil that way. Yeah, true. But then I have to leave my safe space, the base. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go into the scary unknown. <laughs> I think I've spent most of my time here. <laughs> like, the first stream was just building the base, which would be like roughly six hours here. The second one was. Exploring the nether, so that's like the nether stuff, really. Because I spent all of that stream there. Yeah. The third one was just building the villager stuff. <laughs> to think that's I, also... to think I started the stream and there was nothing built on this island. It was it was still like the, the rough wild. Yeah. I did a lot to stream. Holy crap. And still not done. I gotta build a TNT cannon so I can shoot a shoot TNT over. Oh, please island. don't. <laughs> I'll ban you faster than you can say IKEA. IKEA. Well, you haven't done it yet, so I can't. <laughs> you said I haven't done it yet. So what's uh, schematics been up to today? They've just been uh, been uh, memeing. Might have asked that earlier. I don't. <laughs> just work. Well, you know, you gotta pay the bills somehow. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? What do you do, Fire? Just... Well, that's the sad thing. Oh. I'm unemployed, so... Oof. Yeah, this... This, a... this oh. stupid pandemic hasn't helped. Just been living off of social insurance... Or social assistance. Yeah. But I'm thankful that I live in Canada for that. At least I get a half... Half half livable amount I'm not like stupidly struggling so but it sucks because two years ago I had like this really fancy job and whatnot what, what did you do uh, I designed the interiors of private jets holy fuck yeah so I like I did all like the 3d renderings and whatnot that's really fucking cool yeah that's and really cool and they decide, and then they decided, you know what? Let's just cut half the company. And unfortunately, I was in that half. Oh fuck! 
have you been in talks to them about getting your job back after? That's the thing. I don't know if, they, like, from what I from what I can tell, they're not hiring anymore. I'm not sure if they lost a contract or what's going on, but. But like, just in my, you could like leave a interest. Or I don't know if you have like an interest. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I did way back when, but. Just I'm saying, just... if you ever hire, just hire me, dude. <laughs> then they might, you know, reach out to you if they start hiring. Yeah. Because this is, isn't that like, I don't know if, because here in Sweden, if you get uh, fired because of, uh, like, the company needing to cut down size, you're allowed, you're, by law, the companies are, must offer you a job before they hire anyone else. See, I don't know if that's a thing here in Canada. I don't think it is. I haven't heard of anything like that. Mm. Boy, do I wish. Yeah. Because of when... Uh, I said, I've been in a bunch of restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. And some of them went bankrupt in the COVID. Yeah. Um, so I got, like, a bunch of notifications from the, uh, the law firm that... Uh, I had to sign certain papers because I worked there and have been unemployed by uh, bankruptcy, mm -hmm. which states that if they start a new restaurant or open it up again, yeah, then well, I must be offered a job. With yeah, else. I, I, I don't, I, d I haven't heard anything of the sorts here in Canada, mm. but yeah, it's. Del delving a little bit more into like why I was laid off, uh, and I I found this out. Some I I was I was laid off January last year. Yep. Um, when that when I I was I was talking with a uh, a friend of mine who was a who was a customer from that company. Uh, turns out they laid off a bunch of people to try to get to contract, uh, for one of the for one of these other companies. That's like not going to make them as much money, and they always bend bend over backwards to screw over their employees. Mm -hmm. Like my coworker, who was also doing the same thing, uh, he had spent hours upon hours upon hours trying to get this this uh, mod model working, mm -hmm. and then like as as soon as he was almost finished, uh, my boss just went up to him and said, "Yeah, no, just give all your all your stuff to th this company." And of course, he, 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 like, this desk is, the our desk are like freaking massive. And this guy almost flips it on its side. Wow. Yeah. Would I go back to work there again? Possibly. If, if presented the opportunity, I would like to keep expanding my skills because when I, when I, when I left college, I decided I want to be a, uh, environment designer. And, of course, modeling the interiors of jets is like really close to that. So. Yeah, I don't know about like construction companies if they will like hire someone who's making three D models of their house. I have I have applied to quite a few uh, realty places. Hopefully that works out. Because 3D models of buildings are super useful when constructing them. Oh yeah. Because you're able to like find flaws mm -hmm. actually building it by looking through it. Yeah. I know I know there's quite a few firms like that in Toronto, so I assume you said Toronto. Yeah. Because in my in my ears you said like Toronto or Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's just how you speak over there in Canada land. 
<laughs> Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> you have like a very soft Toronto. Yeah, it's it's I think I think it's just because of the the dialect over here. Dialect? Wee -wee. Like I like how we say things. Is that how you say it? Have yeah. I been saying it wrong? What do you think? What what have you how have you been how how have you been saying it, sorry? Not dialect. I might have been saying it wrong. Congrats. You fucked up the English language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for not speaking that's what I mean. <laughs> No, it's it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, cause I uh, I I speak very, you know, Swedish English, mm -hmm. which uh, makes when I say you said Toronto. Yeah. Well, thing is, it's, it's 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 especially like uh, I I noticed a lot a lot more with uh, Canadian dialect. Mm -hmm. So we'll 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 not say certain letters like. The, the name Calgary is C A L G A R Y, but we'll we'll miss the like the second A on purpose sometimes. So it's Calgary. That's because you're French. Like ninety percent of you guys are French. <laughs> no, that's 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 the that's the English. <laughs> don't yeah, do this to me. <laughs> it's it's Eng it's influenced by the French, right? Because French people only say like half the words. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could see that, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, just to say, which is super easy to say and goes really fast, it's like 16 letters. Yeah. And it's like stupid. That's why I. Uh, <laughs> no no, no ill meaning towards French speakers. speakers just that the language is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> From an outside perspective. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey schematics, you still kicking around my chat? Oh fuck. <laughs> no, I just I actually fell. The schematics still kicking around. Oh, wait, am I remembering I don't or is it or am I thinking of Tavu? Uh introductions. Oh no, yeah, schematics is American. I, I I knew it was either schematics or or Tavu that was that had that lived in Canada as well. It's one of them. The worst thing about being European is that I can't watch everyone's stream, sadly. See, I can't watch other people's streams because of RAM. 
Espe or when I'm when I'm streaming, I mean. Yeah. Currently, I'm I'm, I'm having your stream open in the background. Yeah. Not work. Yeah. Apologies but, that I can't have yours open. Nah, no, it's it's fine. It's just that when um, like when watching, like I I basically can't watch Abyss's, Nora's or. Oh, because of how late it is. That like that good. Avarice is, is okay. Because he doesn't stream super late. I guess I guess that's why you wanted to collab with me after seeing me online. Yeah. Because I I have really like pretty good times. <laughs> For both of us, I would say. Yeah. Well I might I might be doing later weekend ones, but that's a different story. Uh what am I doing? Also, you, you, you wouldn't fucking know how nervous I was when I first reached out to you. God, it, you wouldn't believe how I was like, "Oh, someone's messaged me." I, I know, I know, I wanted this, but what do I do? What do I do? Because <laughs> uh, I, I messaged you, uh, like I wrote the message that I sent you, mm -hmm. like six different times, six different wordings. Over the course of like a week. Wow. Just being like, is this right? Can I say this? Is this good? <laughs> well, I mean, it worked out. No, I, think it, I think it just sent like a yo. <laughs> <laughs> See, what, what did it actually send? Uh... Well, actually, you said hello first. Did I? Oh yeah, I, I said I said hello first because like you 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 friended me. And we, uh, said, well, no, no sorry. Final fire. <laughs> hello, final fire. You want to stream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Remember, kids, always, always message random strangers on the internet. <laughs> You'll find yourself in a random Minecraft server that doesn't have any diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm never going to live that one down, am I? No. I think um, schematics might still be here, but I think we talked about schematics like looking over the code and might be able to fix it. Yeah. Well, the problem is it's it was the world generation code that I that I used. Like the, the these floating islands are are a new world type to one one six five one sixteen five. Mm. And so like it was just like a uniform biome. Yeah. So it would have been like all plains, all forest, all desert, etc. Mm. So I just I just l looked uh, looked online, got a code that uh, allowed different biomes, and that was basically it. So if if sorry, go ahead. You go ahead. I was I was cutting in. I was gonna say so if 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 you want to blame the, the diamond generation, that's entirely a, a Minecraft based thing. Because uh, I think Schematic said something about that you were able to change uh, height levels of where they spawn and stuff. Uh, I mean. Potentially, you know what? I might just like give schematics like. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I can, but like operation operating uh, powers on, on Shockbite, where the which is the program or the. The company that I'm hosting the server with. I think you should be able to. Just that schematic, you gotta get an account, and you just give him permissions. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. So I've been fishing for like half an hour now. I haven't found anything of value.
You kidding me? I don't really need op or server access, but not saying no lol. Just the code you inserted, it'll work and it will work something out. Uh, actually, I think I might have the code still on my computer. Give me a second. Downloads. The yeah, worst thing that could happen is I would have to re debut as the. I. After all the work we put into this. <laughs> I'm fine either way, because now I know how shit works, especially with the villager and creeper and stuff. Because I was going in blind before this. Yeah. Let's see, some message schematics. And then sauce that settings. All right, Semetics, I sent it to you on Discord. Awesome. See if you can do it in a way that would be able to preserve the server as is. Thanks, man. Alrighty, that's that. God damn it.
I just really want to finish this building and then probably gonna head off. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna finish my fishing rod and I'm pre Alrighty. I'm surprised Nora didn't come back. Uh, I think she was testing something. Um, just briefly. Ah, well. I think she said something on Discord. Did she? I think so. Mm. I'm gonna check right now. Doesn't say anything on, uh... No, it, it didn't say test. It said t testicular torsion and thoughts. <laughs> what a thing to confuse. <laughs> They didn't say test. It said testicular torsion and clots. <laughs> <laughs> or CBC for, uh, or CBT for short. <laughs> Cock and ball torture from Wikipedia, <laughs> the free encyclopedia. <laughs> that video is amazing. <laughs> that's uh, that's why, that's why I turned it into the uh, the. The axe I had in, in uh, yeah. Turnip Server. Uh, at en.wikipedia.org. <laughs> I kind of know what I want to name my bow. What? I want to change the name of my Have a URL as well. <laughs> I hope that works.
I think my fishing rod is gonna break on the next pull, the next catch. Okay, dog. And I just finished the interior of what this house. I don't have a torch. Why would you want to torch the house? You just built it. <laughs> Cause I'm a pyromaniac, motherfucker! Let's do this! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, maybe. Uh... Not I just... a single name tag. I just gotta glass this area up now, unfortunately. Do I have I have glass? I'm so close to finishing, and like every time I look up, it's something new. Hold up, don't leave me. <laughs> God damn it. My okay. You need all the pumpkins to trade for emeralds, man. Yeah. You know, I st I still watch that one one uh, clip we took of a uh, schematics break in his computer. Gets me laughing every time. What? Which one? The the one in the debut stream where uh, schematics does the uh, hey shit ass watch me want to watch me speed bridge <laughs> and just fucking breaks his computer. Oh yeah, that one is absolutely amazing. That's wonder. I still watch it over and over again. That one is straight up amazing. <laughs> hey, shit, ass, <laughs> <speed. laughs> Alrighty. Does this look cool at least? It's so close. Cool. Pretty cool. Hello. So if if you you can come up, and oh, there's a bridge. 
Okay. Okay. I don't like this where this is going. Oh. Wow, you had a lot of shit though. Well, yeah, it was all my construction materials. What do you expect? You had so much shit on you. I'm getting some extra as well. Please, no. <laughs> uh, do you have a... Do you have my pickaxe on you? I think I had a pickaxe. Oh, uh, yeah. I do have your pickety axe. It's kind of broken, though. Yeah. It's like, really? Yeah. There we go. Good guy, Shiro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Alrighty, uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. No one's gonna call it. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get back to base. Yeah. Actually, you know what? This bird, this, this staircase is bothering me. I'm gonna do a quick revamp and then call it. Let's just check the creeper from, see if I've got... No, it's still just two. <laughs> still just two gunpowder. I think I have to rework that someday. Someday. But tomorrow I'm moving into my new room, so... You're moving? Uh, no, my brother has, uh... Neat. Uh, so, um, his room is vacant. So I'm turning in that to a... Basically gaming room where it will be... With the computer, with all the consoles and stuff. Okay. Well, I hope it goes well. I've got to do the big move tomorrow. Alrighty. Anyways, see ya, man. See you. And uh, to everybody still watching, uh, hope everybody has a good rest of their day. Uh, thank you, as always, for sticking around as, as much as you can. I always appreciate those who... Uh, thanks. Bye bye, schematics. I always appreciate those who follow, those who lurk, and whatever support that may take. Uh, and yeah, have a good night. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, stick around. We're gonna go, uh, raid. <laughs>